the fella? Hello and welcome to Wednesday without Lewis or Ben. Uh, Lewis is going to be here in a second, um, so it's actually uh, Lewis and Tom destroy the world today. Uh, how are you guys all doing out there? How's um, how's it going? <laughs> uh, yeah, so we we're, we're not entirely sure what we're going to do today. Um, we kind of literally just rolled straight out of a recording, and now we're ready to do something. So if people have any suggestions for what games they want to see us play, we're pretty much open to anything. Uh, just drop drop the drop the comments in the things and you know into chat. I think that's what they call it. And uh, then we will maybe play that game. Uh, we're gonna do a straw poll in a minute. Hello. Um, maybe when Lewis turns up he might have some ideas to add. Uh, so I can see some suggestions. XCOM, Total War. Oh man, I'd love to play Total War with Lewis. I bet. I bet Hello. I'd play. Um, Hearts of Iron. I still don't know how to play Hearts of Iron. It, it's it's too complicated. And Stellaris. Also a bit. So you've got to remember, I'm not Ben. Ben has, um, you know, a very mechanical, smart mind, and uh, he likes all of those long, long, slow games. Uh, whereas I, man, I cannot stand them. Uh, generally, I need I need a bit more spice. I need more input than just like numbers everywhere. Uh, some people love just you know Microsoft Excel computer games, but hello, I can't. oh you're here. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh man, my back is so sore from carrying oh, carrying the stream. You, you were very legendary this, this way, in doing this so. I'm here. Oh my god, so sorry, I'm inundated with things. Some yeah. of my Amazon orders. I did. I bought some things on Amazon. Oh, on Prime Day. Well, I was going to buy some stuff, and then I ended up buying weird stuff. I was like, Ooh. I had a long list of things I wanted to buy, and then I got onto the Prime Day sales, and I was like, do I need another Amazon Alexa? Not really. And then, like, those those fancy, like, bulbs. Oh, yeah, the color The Wi-Fi bulbs, bulbs or whatever that you can control with your phone. Hello. And they were, like, they were still, like, 20 quid each. And I was like, I'm not paying 20 quid for a bulb. Yeah. And so I didn't buy those. Oh. And then uh, there was like other stuff was like the TVs were like, I thought I need a new TV. Ooh. And so I looked at the first one and it was like 400 quid. And I was like, oh, it's only 42 inches. Is that, that going to be big <laughs> is enough? That, is that enough? And so I was like, no, I probably want a bigger one. And I talked to Tell and he like, I've got 70, 75 inch TV. Wow. And I was like, well, I can't get a 42-inch TV if Terps has a 70-fucking-5-inch one. Holy shit. So I was like, oh, there's a 60-inch 60, 60 one here on that, on Prime Day that was like half off as well. And I was like, oh, I'll get that. And he was like, oh, no, you don't want to get that one. Oh, God. <laughs> so so, it, so I ended up hardly my. I think I bought a toilet brush, an electric toothbrush, Ooh. Br another brush, a, a Hoover brush. Wow, just four brushes. I bought all of the brushes. Brush day. <laughs> It was for me, yeah. Anyway, so what? But did, what did surprisingly, you... didn't buy a hairbrush. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so uh, I no, I didn't buy anything on Prime Day. Um, I wanted to buy a blender, but I, I didn't, because you know. I've super glued all my fingers together. Super you on purpose? I accidentally super glued all my, my fingers together this morning. Oh. I was doing a bit of gluing, oh. and I bought a Forge World model. Which can't use the plastic glue, no. and so I'm using super glue. Um, and of course, the super glue I've bought is one which I guess dads use to stick things to back. To, I don't know what dads use. Stick Wait, vases back. Were you using I guess. your yoohoo? No, I wasn't. Not. Oh, yeah. I'm using actual super glue, not yoohoo. 
Yoohoo's fine. I like Yoohoo. It's for kids. It's great. I should, <laughs> I should be using never, that, never to be honest. Um, no, I won't put it on models. But I was using it for it was super glue to glue stuff together. And I, I was holding this thing like this in place like this. Oh. I had my fingers in it like that. I was just holding it there while I was watching TV and waiting for it to dry. And then I let go of it and I was like, oh. And it wouldn't, it, my fingers were stuck <laughs> in this, to the model and to each other. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, fuck, what am I going to do? So I had some paint thinner. Oh, nice. So I Hello, got some paint that. thinner, poured that down there, just about dissolved enough of it to, get which your, you're not supposed to get on your hands at all. Get your, I've still got loads of super glue just oh, stuck all over my really fingers. It's really annoying. It's really that, annoying. Like, It'll take rough. ages to go away. Just like, oh, just get a, like a nail brush like, and just scrub your, scrub your fingers raw. So I, I, I don't have much time, Tom, right at the moment. <laughs> okay, I have to choose. So we, we're just going to podcast this for a little bit until we figure out chat. what we're doing. Yeah, I don't have a lot of time suggest some games and we'll, at the moment. We'll straw it. And there's a lot of things I want to do. Okay, I'd like to go... What are your top five things that you want to be doing? One is... Number one. Watch the new series of Better Call Saul on Netflix. I'd like to try and watch that, and I'm struggling to get through it. Number two. Number two. Read this book that I've bought, which I still haven't managed to get through. It's taken me bloody ages. Uh, It's a physical book. I've bought more books to read after it, but I'm struggling to get through it. It's a little bit too dry. The mountain is building. I'm struggling. So I feel like, oh, if it's a good book, I'll get through it. But this one, I just have to get, I have to get over the hump, but it's tough. Number three, I'd Number like three. to learn how to play piano again. Okay. Jin has been <laughs> learning how to play piano. Okay. And he was, I never, when I was a kid, I talked a bit about, a bit about this the other day, but when I was a kid, I was like forced by my parents to play musical instruments. Were you, did, you, did you have to endure this? Um, did your parents put you through some sort of Hunger Games style training program instead? Oh, they did put me through a Hunger Games style yeah, training Yeah, when you were thing. forced to kill other children of your age. In exactly. Order to survive and keep the ang- Angor line strong. Yeah, keep, yeah, keep it keep pure. The Clark. Yeah, they kept put all of me and my siblings together. The Clark siblings. We had to kill each other. Yeah. I managed to come out on top. Yeah, it was, um, a, it was a rough one. Yeah, it was a, that was uh, the formative years. It was a good, that was a good time. Clark. The formative years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, wait, just wait for the, the memoirs to come out. So uh, my parents forced me to learn a musical instrument. They were quite clean on me lo- use, learning the flute. Okay. Because um, when you're young and oh. asthmatic, you have breathing trouble. Apparently the flute is a very good thing for you to learn how to do. Even as a young, scrawny, eight-year-old Lebanese boy, <laughs> I was very aware that the flute was not the manliest of instruments <laughs> no. and managed to divert them over to... The clarinet. I think I wanted to go saxophone. I think oh. I, I wanted the saxophone. They wanted the flute. And so we compromised on clarinet. The halfway house was the clarinet. Yeah, I think so. And so I ended up playing that for a few years, <laughs> yeah. being forced to play the clarinet, which was torture. Oh, no. And then eventually, for some reason, I changed the piano. I have no idea why. I think my parents wanted to have a piano in the house. I think they thought it looked cool. Oh, uh, it might be because my brother wanted to play piano or something, so I ended up playing the piano as well. So maybe, proxy, maybe it was just cheaper. You had to learn as I well. I think they might have just got sick of the clarinet noises coming out of my room that were just terribly tuneless <laughs> and awful. I <laughs> never got any better. Were you good? No, good I was all? garbage. Oh, man. Mm. Wow, the clarinet. And I, I, I got mm. like grade four or five, or maybe even grade six on piano. Pretty so short. I was pretty, pretty competent back in the day. This was when I was about 12 or 13. And... You know, but basically, I almost just I didn't learn anything. I was I didn't learn anything at all. I, it was all done by rote. Hello there, fella. Okay, like rote learning. You know, like memorized. Right. Okay. So the oh, I was in muscle memory. So I learned these really complicated classical Hello. pieces entirely by muscle memory, just from doing it over and over again. Sure. Until I could be some sort of performing monkey to do it, but I had had no skill beyond that. Oh, did your parents have like dinner parties and they'd be like, oh, quiet, everyone. Little Lewis is going to play us a ditty on the piano. No, no, it won't be a ditty. You'd have to come out. You'll play Bach's Adagio in C minor. Oh, nice. It'll be that. And And then you'd have to. (laughs) (laughs) And my brother would come out with the fucking trombone and be like. Wait, I thought he was learning piano too. Didn't you do the side by side? Well, I think he went from piano to. Maybe he started with piano and gave up. And that's why we had this piano spare. 
And my parents were like, oh, you do the thickens. piano now. I can't remember. Listen, if I actually talk to my parents about this, they'll have a completely <laughs> different memory to how I, the way I remembered it. Um, so anyway, I, I was thinking about paying a video. So that's, that's do, 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 that was number three on the list. Right, okay. Number three, number play four, piano. Number four, learn to paint and stick together Warhammer models. That is what's taking up most of my time at the moment. Number four. Unfortunately. And I don't, I feel like it's a waste of my time. Even much, as much so as all the rest. All of these things on the list are pretty much a waste of my time. Like, Playing piano, pointless. Like learning a language, like if I was learning French or learning Japanese or learning German or something like that, that would be useful because I'm going to Gamescom in a bit. I like to, I'm going to France as well. I want to go skiing. I want to learn a bit of French. I used to be quite good at French. But, but I feel like in a way, learning a language is a big waste of time because nowadays you can just get an app and like hold it up and be like, here, you know, read this. Yeah, yeah. And it says like, greetings, good sir. Would you please direct one to the nearest establishment to one which one could purchase and consume a beverage, alcoholic, <laughs> possibly, but not necessarily. Mess, possibly, including wine of a mulled variety. Wow, this, this, uh, this app sounds amazing. Mm. Way better than I could speak, whereas like, I would just be like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Anyway. Okay. Like an ogre. <laughs> right. So basically, <laughs> I'm, I, I consider all the things I've listed so far to be a bit of a waste of time. Like oh. Reading books, sure, okay, but the books are kind of... Yeah, that, that's, not not, that's not so it. bad. Warhammer models, it's pretty much a waste of time, but I'm, I'm kind of, it's kind of okay. Yeah. And then the other ones on the list were... Learn to place Crusader Kings 2. Oh. That's on the back burner oh, as man. well. Well, that'll take you about as long as learning a new language. Of learning piano. I mean, would I rather learn to play Crusader Kings 2 or piano? I think actually I'd rather play Crusader Kings 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who wants to play piano? Do you know what I mean? Pianists. Penises. Hmm. Pe penises, yes. Pianists. Pianists. They, they want to play. I think they do say like having a... Having a um, a musical instrument talent is actually a very good thing for attracting the ladies. Oh, you know they say that like you know that Being should be musical. Yeah, yeah, it's like an extra string to you your bow kind of thing. And oh, nice your oboe or your violin bow. Mm. Any of any of those? Um, I don't those. think the oboe would be a particularly attractive one to a lady because basically, don't you have to just basically go. <laughs> <laughs> when you play it, don't you have to like, kind of screw up your face? Good breath control. In a horrible way. You know, some people oh, think that's quite attractive. Good breath control. What are you doing down there? God, holding the breath. <gasps> Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> My God. Um, um, Jesus. Uh, so. so anyway, welcome back to the stream, everyone. That yes. was just a little bit of filler, because me and Tom are here, filling in for me and Ben. Lewis and Tom save... The, um, destroy the world. Destroy the world, as opposed to Lewis and Ben saving it. What shall we do today? If, did we have a straw poll? I don't know. Did you make a straw poll? Do we have a straw poll? Did anyone poll? do anything preparation or preparatory for the stream? No, we, we haven't even done a straw poll. We haven't done a straw poll yet. Let's put one together, shall we? Uh, uh, what were the best ones? Well, we could sit here and chat uh, or <laughs> eat bananas. Uh, well, um, electricians donated and they said, yee! Tom and Lewis, put Total Warhammer in the straw poll, please. Oh, I guess Total do Total Warhammer. They donated. That. We could play that. No, take it out. Put oh, it in man. and then take it out immediately. Oh, my God. Um, and Krell donated. Oh, fucking Krell. Lewis, can you do an impression of me? You familiar? Meh. <laughs> I'm Krell from Tom and Ben's Warhammer series. <laughs> Perfect. Meh. Fucking Krell. Oh, I love Is that him. right? It was actually probably better than I could do it. <laughs> I liked it. That was, you had a lot more of like a skeletal, skeletal vibe. PUBG Darkest Dungeon Rimworld. Put those on there. PUBG Darkest Dungeon Rimworld. Crusader Kings 2. Northgard. Kappa. Write all these down. Endless Legend. Oh, no, not that. Put that on. I don't think we can do Crusader Kings 2. Probably um, not. Well, if you, neither you, of us really know how to play. I watched a tutorial. Half of a tutorial. Was that the 18-episode, 18 18-hour 18 tutorial? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think I probably made it about 20 minutes in. I was, like, eating some dinner. I, don't I got think to the end of it and was just like... I don't think it's the time. Well, we'll put it on there anyway. Let's put it on there. Say the Kings. <laughs> so let's put it on... Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, Steve wants to teach us. Of course he does. I don't think I could stomach that. I mean, it's like, it's like Sura the Death tells me to watch his Twitch channel. Steve, that's the same as Tits. 
Steve telling me how to play Crusader Kings 2. It's like, I really kind of don't want to do it, but I know it's going to happen inevitably. <laughs> it's like one of those things in the back of your mind. It will like, be a thing one Thea, day. Thea, The Awakening. Oh, do you remember playing Thea, The Thea. Awakening? I played it with Ben. It was an Eastern European themed... Um, that guy got banned for saying Thea over and over again. Really? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Friday the 13th, that's not a bad suggestion. Age of Mythology, I've never played Age of Mythology. Really? No. Oh. Have you ever played it? Yeah, I used to play it a lot when I was, um, Hello. When I was much younger. Really? What the, what, the old one? There's a new one, isn't there? Oh, thought, is there a I new thought, one? Yeah, that's what I was, I was talking about. Age of Mythology 2. Mm. I'm thinking of Age of Wonders 3. That's what I'm thinking of. Age of Wonders 3. Age of something. Age of gay. Uh, uh, <laughs> 6, Empyrean. Have you played Empyrean, Galactic Survival before? Empyrean. Uh, yes, I think we... The, that's the one that's like <laughs> two years old, isn't it? Yeah. Um, the one that you can really fuck up your start. Have you got this straw poll going yet, Sam? Empyrean, put that on there. Uh, uh, <laughs> Friday 13th video was awesome. It was. It was a really good one. Man, oh, Team Factorio. Tom did such a good well. job. Oh, F Factorio. I really wanna, I've been itching for some Factorio. Have you? Yeah, yeah. We um, could do... Well, me and Duncan tried doing Team Factorio. What's Team Factorio? It's basically where you just... Each of us make a team and uh, pubbies from chat join. Oh. And build a base and then fight. Oh, and fight. Mm. I mean, it was a bit of a mess last It time. sounds like a bit of a <laughs> fucking mess. But put it on the list. <laughs> Put it on the list. Uh, team, I, it's not team, my favourite list. That turns me Team on. Piano. Team Piano, I just saw or, that. we could actually go into... I could go get some of my models and just sit here and paint them. Just sit and paint. And chat about stuff. Um, we were going to do that anyway, weren't we? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do some of that. We could just watch Better Call Saul wow. <laughs> on one monitor and a CK2 tutorial video on another monitor. <laughs> And paint models here. Wow, and just cause like a mass suicide throughout everywhere as the most depressing <laughs> stream ever made. That is not fair. That is totally not fair. Oh, 18 hours of tutorials. I, I wanted to learn to play um, Dwarf Fortress years ago. Oh, no. And there was, it was like a 40-episode series on the basics of Dwarf Fortress. And there were... Oh, God, Steve... No, Steve wants to teach us Dwarf Fortress. So yeah, Darkest Dungeon Rim World, um, uh, painting I... models and chatting about that. Well, we were going to do a video for it for Games Night, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, we're going to. Do you still want to do that? Because yeah. if you want to do that, we won't do it on here then. Because, you know, think, it requires think, very heavy editing. I think that'd be fun, fun to do. Um, <laughs> uh, probably. Yeah, go for that. Uh, and I'll put other on as well. Yeah. If there's other... Other. Then we'll do something not on the list. Oh, um, we can't. We've played a lot. I, I found a game for me and Ben to play. Oh, called really? Hard West. Hard. Oh, yeah. It's like an old. It's like a. I was, I was thinking me and Ben would do a stream, and it'd be called Lewis and Ben Save the West. Nice. Fucking. I came up with the name first, and then found and the then game. And then found a. <laughs> yeah. Uh, found the game. Like a Wild West computer game. Basically. To, uh, I know. To what is the best Wild West computer game, actually? The, oh, it's Red Dead Redemption, isn't it? Oh, shit. I've never played Red Dead Redemption. What? It's good. It's because yeah. it was on the consoles. And, ah. Um, I, I've not had a console since, like, a PlayStation 2. Oh, you missed PUBG off there. No, it doesn't matter. We're not going to play PUBG. Oh. PUBG is too stressful. Although, um, I, there's the new chill stream. PUBG Zombies mode. Oh, yeah. Could do that, actually. That probably wouldn't be that bad. Which would probably be pretty chill. Um... How, how, oh, yeah, you heard about our period, didn't you? Uh, yeah. And, and that's um, all you know about Bar it. Barry Boys streamed it last night. Mm -hmm. um, Barry Boys? Yeah, Barry Boys. What did, what was, did he have a good time? He did said he it was very good, oh. and he was entertained. Well, listen, we don't want to step on their toes. That, you know, they, they, we need to leave some games for other people. But he, he knows how. He's good at games. He's so not going to play like, any of the games that we play, though, is he? That's true. Do you know what I mean? He has, like... Not very much choice. He's got his fixed ones and we've got ours. We can play of. anything. Um, We're flexible. Okay, how's the straw poll doing? Do I we don't have know. any like, good figures? Do we it. have like a... Can we see the, a bit of the pie? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Fucking dragged onto our face. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, I cannot read that for shit, Steve. Is it Rimworld at the top? Steve... <laughs> 
<laughs> you you get, got, if you guys can see what we're seeing... Just get blamed by proxy. I bet they couldn't see that, could they? Maybe, maybe not. I bet they couldn't see that. But, but basically, whoever's in the studio just dragged the window <laughs> lazily onto the middle of our screen. And with the Rimmel, tiniest text... Sit there and chat and eat bananas is actually in the lead. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, since Rimworld's at the head, let's just make, make a little Rimworld, shall we? I think, I think we could do that. Uh, we, I think we, can we, do we want to ha both have control? No, I think we have two competing colonies. How do we you do that? We use the same seed. Um, How do you do that? Uh, well, we play separately, but we play on like, the hardest difficulty. We can make like big groups of people. If we've got... Um, do you have the Prepare Carefully mod? The what mod? Prepare Carefully... Oh, is that where you get to choose your yeah. people? Yeah, yeah. How does that work? It allows you to choose your people. <laughs> Sounds amazing, Tom. <laughs> um, I'm not sure Sit if there I have... Bananas. bananas. People just want more bananas. So more bananas! Well, to us, just rough, rough difficulty. So, oh my god. Generate? Oh, I don't know, never mind. What, what, are, you, what are you getting? Shin's just chatting away to me. Um... What's he Shin saying? Shin says, up for the next Civ game. Really? We'll oh. be on a flight pretty soon after it, back to old Brizzle. Brizzle! Feeling a bit out of the loop here in Canada. Oh, his internet's so terrible, and he has to get up at like 2 a.m. to record. Yeah. Shin hasn't seen the new office yet as well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And he's like, he's like, I think poor old Shin like, thinks he's off on holiday, basically, in Canada with his girlfriend, which is like really cool, actually, to go and get out of England for three months and do that, but he's missing A, the best weather, and B, the best fucking time in this new office. Oh my god, it's it like is parties, the best time. wild parties. Oh, I'm not good at staying. Alexa's straight. like Always playing naked. music. Um, uh, there's like hot babes hanging around all the time, just saying, Oh, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I've forgotten how to pleasure myself. If only there were a man who could, <laughs> who could help me in this conundrum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, willing man. I, I, do you not? Um, I'd probably take them all back with me. That's why there's oh, no, they, they, left well, they, I think they just come straight to you and ask you. Yeah. Pretty, pretty clued up. I just that. get Steve coming up to me <laughs> saying, He's had a haircut, though. He looks I nice. forgot how to pleasure myself. <laughs> <laughs> Can you help me out? Can you also, I'm like, the studio's broken. Oh, okay, <laughs> again. Steve gets pleasure from getting all the wires in the right holes, though. Yeah? Yeah, it's like, ooh. Ooh, yes, Is Tom. that the most satisfying pleasure? Mm. Plug, plug that in. Bit ooh, of a, bit of a technophile. Oh, I like that. Yeah, um... Why am I logged in? Am I logged in? I'm, I'm preparing to launch Rimworld. Rim, Rimworld. I have to install Rimworld. It's okay. It's tiny. It's really, really small. Don't say that about Steve. <laughs> My God, poor Stephen. He's there, <laughs> struggling away. <laughs> Toiling. We're just at the mine at the coal face. And we're just being. Just oh, actually, horrible. You, it's terrible. Don't provoke Steve, because you know what? He has so much power. <laughs> He can make us do anything. I don't know if I was provoking him. I think I was being very most kind. See, look what he's done. Oh, <laughs> look at <laughs> like tiny. He can make me sound like an elf as well. Tiny baby Lewis. Um, <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love it. Oh, oh man. Tom, down here. <laughs> oh, oh, hello, little Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to record with you. You're like a borrower down there. Pick me up, Tom. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Pick oh, me up. Can you like? I'm no good at staying oh. straight. I, uh, oh, I can't. I'm can stuck you get here. me get I'm, him into my I'm hand? I'm super glued into the floor. I think can I need Steve. Can you get me into your hand? How? Oh, <laughs> <Steve>. <laughs> oh wait, can I like? No. Oh no! Help me! Help me! <laughs> <laughs> Good oh, little oh, Lewis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. My hand is permanently stuck like that now. Oh, okay. So, um, oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. We're just launching um, <laughs> Old Rimworld. <laughs> so good. Oh, jeez. Um, that was great. Thank you, Steve. Uh, Man, that was, that was the highlight of my week, I think. Cutie Bear uh, uh, did a donation and said, Illuminati boys. Oh, um, thanks. 
Uh, where are all my stitching and that's it. So how do I get the... Oh, I guess I have to go to the, bro the oh. workshop. So do I want any other mods on this rim, rim world? Rim world. Uh, prepare carefully is probably the best one. So that's just what? That just lets you customise exactly... Yeah, there's some other ones that are good, but like that, I don't need. Just as long as you get that one, then we'll be well, then we'll be is cool. EDB, prepare carefully. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. Red Red Matter Bomb Salesman Generation. They said, "Can we have Treasure Planet Battle at Procyon on the straw poll?" I was getting ready for Treasure Planet Battle get at Procyon in Endless Space Two, but hey, have either of you ever that. played Treasure any of the Mist Planet. games? Back also, Lewis Planet. looks like Alistair Cook, and Duncan is Johnny Bairstow. What? It's madness. Uh, I remember playing Mist years ago. <laughs> getting trapped in a Battle book. Procyon. What an incredible sounding game. The game continues. Jim Hawkins' adventures five years after Treasure Planet. Oh! Which Jim Hawkins is about to graduate from the Royal Navy Academy. Oh, it sounds amazing. It sounds an amazing game. Oh, I've never played it. This does look like a kind of Lewis and Ben Save the World type game, though. I'll have to wait for Ben to get back. It's a bit, it's a bit retro. 2002. 15 years. It's not old enough, actually. It's not old enough. So how do I get my mods working on Rim, Rimworld? Rim. So I've already subscribed to this mod. Okay, Rim. you're subscribed to it. So you go to mods, and you want to just click the tick. Oh, I can also get rim hair. Expanded prosthetics and organ engineering. There we go. I've got some other mods. Cool. Okay. The mod list has changed. The game will restart. That's, that's okay. Um, uh, so is this, is this the world that we're going to play on? The rim world? Uh, no, so we'll, make, um, so we'll make a thing. New colony. Which one do I want to do? You oh, do it with me. Okay, right. So just do uh, Crash Landed. We're going to start with just Crash Landed. Bam, next. And then I reckon um, we can do Randy Random and we'll do Rough. Rough Randy Random? Yeah. Mm. That sounds bad. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be brutal. Um, then for the seed, what would you like the seed to be? Mm, big balls. Big balls. Okay, big balls is the seed, and so we just generate. We both generate. This is, so we, okay, so me and, me and Tom, this okay. is a thing that you'll find out, but we like to play multiplayer <laughs> games, that have, games that are not multiplayer by just playing them as if we were. Because a lot of the time, you'll notice this, but when we play certain games together um, that are multiplayer, we never look at what any of us else are doing anyway. Uh, yeah, exactly. Even like, um, a, yeah, like on, on Transport Tycoon, you're just playing. You might as well be playing on a different map. Yeah, you, you, know. you could be. It's um, very easy. And so sometimes, especially when we do Rimworld, like there's no way I'm. It, some might say, "Oh, come and have a look at my colony," and I'll maybe do that once an hour. But otherwise, you know. Um, uh, so I think right in the middle of the map. Can you see where I am? Uh, look at the screen. So we're going to both start here at this bit. I'm going to zoom in. Right at the tip of the river. Right at the tip of the river. So um, about here, no, with the mountains. Your mountains. I, do, I like a bit of. Is that the same terrain. one as I've got? Yeah, it's the same one I've seen. Oh, or is that impassable? Okay, we might have to go up one. Boop. That's impassable. Oh, I see. Too. Oh, what about this one? Oh, mountains with a river. Oh, that sounds good. I've never had a map with a river before. I think they're new. Mountains with a river. Mountainous yeah. river. Current movement time, 14 hours, all that crap, yeah. Yeah, average uh, temperature, 11 degrees. So hang on, let's just temperate for us, 34.85 degrees north. 34.85 degrees north. 2.13 degrees east. Perfect. If you want to play along with us, the oh. seed is big balls. Big balls. And uh, the, the location, Tom just told us, is that. 34.85 degrees north, 2.13 degrees east, there you go. Oh, perfect. We'll do it. If people you, if, are donating to get named after in the you games. Want, if you new. want to do a donation, okay. you can, can be a person. People? You can with Prepare Carefully. Well, actually, you can just do it normally. Okay, so hit next. Next. So, um, oh, we're, then you're going to hit Prepare Carefully, this. Oh, jeez. So, at the moment, we've got three oh, people. Oh, jeez. Okay. And um, so, you can uh, just super, super random them up a bit. 
find a guy that you like, or you can just, just completely choose what stats they have. Right. Um, so can we get like a list of who is going to be in it, or should I just go through the list? Um, because uh, like, if you want to donate, and said, Ben, your beard looks amazing, but you look weird with glasses. Um, yeah, it, I, what? As the beard grew, As opposed to... my eyes got worse, because I'm Ben. Oh, I see, I get it, thanks. Nice, I, I didn't read the first word of that donation. Some kind of freaking arsehole says, are you guys not able to hear donation sounds, or are you just unfazed by them at this point? Yeah, literally, they just water off a duck's back to us. The scary noise, I mean, the rah, whatever it's that... still sometimes that, gets me, though, actually. It does very occasionally, but no. Mostly it's like the hum of your fridge that you just don't notice just, anymore. Just forget about. Uh, there is a RimWorld mod to trade in multiplayer and send colonists to each other called Phi. Multiplayer interactions between colonies. We, we've tried it out, and it is a bit sketchy, and it doesn't really add a huge amount. Okay, well, good answer. I didn't. I was going to say, shall we restart to install that? But no, thank you, Electric Rain. Thank you for the heads up. We don't want the game crashing, honestly. Uh, that sounds like it is. Uh, Joe Pesky says, Lewis and Tom, the people have spoken. It is time for you to deep throat a banana. Oh. <laughs> and does his shirt button. It's so very, this. very erotic. Thank you. Um, okay, Mark Thread. Bam. So are those all of those? That's all of it. Oh. So, oh no, Warrior, Warrior C27. C27. He wants, he says, can I be in your camp, Tom? Sure. Okay, so first one. I think you should make Warrior C27. Warrior C27. So he's uh, like got to be a macho warrior. man. He's got to be a warrior. Can you like give he's him a big. childhood, warrior, childhood like... Okay. Uh, How old is he? Um, he's right. like 27. Okay, well, Tunneler, so what do we want? A... Um, you want want want, want like a fighter like a cage fighter. There's some. Oh man, this like list is so long. A gang member. Yeah, he's a gang member. Sure. sure. Was a gang member as a kid, and gang leader. Adulthood. He's now a mercenary oaf. leader. A mercenary oaf. <laughs> no, I like I like the mercenary leader. <laughs> mercenary leader. Warrior C. So, very, very good at melee. Can we change this donation amount? Because it's really irritating and annoying. Well, it, I think it's the standard one, Steve. Is it the um, the raw? Yeah. Um, change it to something good. Okay, Jeez, you're I in. I want you to change it now. It's lots of fun. It says, what's going on here? Sexy man on the right. Replaced <laughs> by another sexy man. Sexy man Lewis. But what happened to sexy man Ben? Don't look, Ben's off on Mallorca for a week. He's two. in Mallorca. So you got me and Tom instead. Thanks, lots of fun. I'm just the seat filler. Go on, give us the next one. Um, pal. Uh, Dr. Johnny, let me be the cook. I don't want to leave the house and I have a better chance of not being killed. Okay, do you want to add a cook to your, to your party? Sure, I will make Dr. Johnny a cook. Perfect. His name's Dr. Johnny. Uh, with the shortening Dr. Johnny um, he needs to be a cook right so what was that chef just, uh, you could just just crank up his uh, cooking skill it's probably the quickest and easiest no, there's way there's got to be like what what kind of like no maybe like luxury luxury <coughs> nom like luxury luxury chef he made he like he made like hang on I'll find one there must be one in here somewhere uh, mercenary chef no all um all those things do world chef there you go he was a chef well, all these do uh, just add um, add to your stats, your skills on the right hand side. Oh, I see, but I still like it. He was a blessed child. There you go. So remember, that's Doctor Johnny. Yeah, it's Doctor Johnny. Uh, how, I think he, I think he looks like that. That's perfect. Oh, I like it. That's a good haircut. I'm gonna leave him with a bite scar on the torso. He's incapable of dumb labour. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. We want him to be capable of that. Oh. Maybe can you actually be a chef? Lazy. Oh, you can do cooking. So if you just click on the cooking thing, you can just crank his cooking up a good amount. I want him to be, like, good at cooking, though. Oh, he loves cooking. There you go. We'll make you, you a 10-level... Ten, ten so how, where does, how does this work? I can't just keep it around. Can, can we turn that off, Steve? Oh, my God, I just told you. <laughs> it's, uh... Can you just turn it off? Oh, my God, it's so annoying. That turns me on. <sighs> So, Sorry, I finally broke on like the big, <laughs> Bigfoot Raw in a row while I'm trying to pay attention. 
How does this actually work with the points? Uh, we just ignore the points. Right. Uh, when you should do, you shouldn't just ignore the points, right? No, we're, like, like, we're just going to add people in. Because you could just crank I all of their stats crank, up to full. Well, but, I'm not going to do any of that. Um, yeah, it's like you can add a few. <laughs> oh my god, I think people are donating on I'm, I'm, purpose. I'm, I'm going to turn my headset off, I think. So, uh, okay. Ginge. Ginge donated. Hello. Just wanted to say the Friday the 13th video was amazing. It was really good. Thank Tom. That the was editor. a really good video. He, like, oh, he fucking nailed it. Uh, Keep Steve, up the good try work. not to be too much of a bully. Thank you, Steve. Oh Winky my god. face. Uh,. Right, so hang on, we've got, shit. we've got a cook. Lewis, I'm starting a new gym tomorrow. Any advice on settling in and getting motivated? Um, How would you advise someone starting at a new gym? Just like, what? Any advice? Well, it's like, oh, I read a thing yesterday. It was like, you see you see people going, well, listen, you just have to, just have to once you start doing it, it'll be fine. You know, once you start doing it, you'll find that you actually really enjoy doing it and then you'll keep going. Yeah. That's the way to do it, actually. You'll just find that you really enjoy it because it just makes you feel good doing exercise and stuff. So just start going and after a week, you'll be like, wow, I'm really enjoying this. Make it a habit as well. I think that's a good thing. Like when you start like every Thursday doing it, then it becomes routine and it's much easier. Yeah. Boom. Um, Thorbjorn. Um, Thorbjorn's going to join my camp. They said, Hey, Tom and Lewis, can I be a really shitty character, please? <laughs> Just like the worst possible guy. That's easy enough. <laughs> so you have three skill with animals, three skills with intellectual. Well, you can't remove... You can't, you can't, have, you can't start with that. That's terrible. Yep. <laughs> He's going to be useless. But I think this is kind of fun. So like, we can, we can add like 10 people to our starting roster. But if they're garbage... It's actually really difficult. Oh, I see. Because they all still have to eat. Right. So, Thorbjorn, you're in the party. Right, fine. Because R831 says, I think Lewis's colony should be survivors of one of Lewis's bed's XCOM games that ended horribly and humans had to escape her. Okay, I like that. That's good. So, that means I need other people from the XCOM playthrough. Oh. Um, so, we're going to have to figure that one out. All right, we're, we're done with that. Thank you, Kassar. Uh, Dr. Westard Duck says, Hey, Tom. Let me be the token homosexual in your colony, or a dog, or giant chicken, or whatever. Um, do you want to? Do you want to add a, a homosexual man, or is it my turn? Uh, yeah, it's your turn. So. Um, okay, I will. I will. I will add him. So their traits are actually quite good fun. Wested Duckle. Doctor Wested Duckle. Doctor Wested Duckle. He didn't, he didn't go get his PhD just to be called Wested Duckle. Doctor Wested. This is the first name. So he's, he's, his traits are gay. Gay. Okay. Anything else? Um, he came as psychically deaf. Oh, dear. He was a traumatized youth and a mental patient. It's an adult. Oh, okay. Right. What, does, what do you think he looks like? He's a Hulk body. We're just going to make him average. I'll probably make him a, a guy. There you go. This is fine. This is fine. Um, Sarah wants to join as well. Hey guys, stuck inside today because of a big storm. Thanks for keeping me entertained. Can I be a little rim person? P.S. Lewis, I love you. Oh, Sarah, you're in. You can you can have Sarah in your your team. Sadie Beard is her actual name, but everyone calls her Sarah. She okay. was a coma child. <laughs> oh god. Uh, she's a she loves like noise. I think proselophile. So she loves. I think that she loves... Oh, no, she wants to be a bionic woman. She wants to be... She wants to have her bits replaced by bionic bits. Bi <laughs> she lives... She's an ascetic. She's pretty bad. You're pretty bad, but I like you. Thank you. Uh, we're going to have to... How many shall we have, then? Um, man, I think I think a few more. Garbage cat. Can I get on this mess? Make me as garbage as you can. Okay, oh, my God, garbage another cat. garbage character. You're in. Um, I'm going to make you semi-good at shooting... But okay, you've got a lot what of low stats. Sarah? This is not a good starting team. So hang on, what have we got? We've got Dr. John, he's a chef, he's a good cook. We got Wested, who's artistic and could grow stuff. Okay. And he's an okay doctor. And we've got Sarah, who's a disaster waiting to happen. Add Emmy, a sex slave. 
a sex slave. Actually, they're only more tenacious, Tom, so maybe we just need to go. Man, okay, I'm just going to add like one Fat more person. Fat grown slave girl. Ooh. Herb world sex slave. Who wants to be that? I'm, well, I'm just adding someone to represent chat. So I've made chat here. Chat Fat is... grown slave girl. Oh, I love her. She's beautiful, but she is also a cannibal. Beautiful, a beautiful cannibal. A beautiful cannibal. Grown We're just going to keep girl. her. I don't care. I don't want oh. her to do from chat. She's coming. She's coming along. Right. So we should have roughly the same points value, I think. How many points are you? 1,250. 5, 12,571. 12,571. Aye. I'm on 12,200. Okay. And I've got four people. I've got four people as well. Okay. So you can uh, probably get another I... person. <laughs> Maybe not. How many are you up to now? I think uh, so. I'm on. I'm on four. Oh, it'll be. It'll be okay. If you've got room, Ginge wants to join. Yeah. Ginge, you're in the party. Come and join. <laughs> How many are you up to now? Actually, like more people is not necessarily more good. Oh, um, I see. Ginge, you're in. I'm no good more at staying straight. Good, more good. Oh, but early on when you don't have food or anything, they're all gonna die. Um, Ginge, you're in the group. Um, Let's also, just go. Chat. Is a volatile person oh, with an oh, annoying spunky, voice. Oh, spunky, spunky monster! Can you rim me? Okay, spunky monster, you're in. Spunky monster. He's the sex slave. Um, spunky. Perfect. Okay, ah. we're gonna launch. Kazar eight three one is going to join as the dog. Okay. So hit. Um, Confirm. Uh, yeah. So you can How's tweak your equipment. You? I'm not going to. I do have a. I've got a female Yorkshire Terrier, which is Kazar eight three one. All right, are we allowed to pause at all? Start. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Pause, don't pause. You know, already know how I like to play these games, which is just on... On max speed. Max speed, most yeah, of the time. I'm I like, not sure I like the that chaos. that's a good idea, honestly. Um, personally, I would not advise that if I were you. So I'm going to start by... Uh, so just getting your people equipped is always a good... Um, is always a good thing. Are we at the same? Are we on the same map? Yeah. If you super zoom out, oh my god, there like is a river. That's beautiful. Oh my god, there is. It's kind of a bit oh. shallow. Oh, deep moving water. Okay. Oh, so maybe we have to get a bridge across that or something. I don't know. Like a bridge over. Oh, deep oh man, I already know exactly water. exactly where I'm going to set up. This is this is perfect. Where are you going to set up? As long as you don't copy. But this recess here. Oh my god, I'm literally doing that already. Is just amazing. No, I can't set up mine in that recess then. A, a single... Uh, no, I think you can. Um, I, think, I think it's fine. Right. I reckon, we should, I reckon we should pause our game so that things happen at the same time, though. The seasons happen at the same time. So when, when you're ready to unpause and pause, we should, we should try, try and be, like, the same. Okay. Because otherwise, I think if it's winter here, it's five years in the future, you know, it's going to be weird for us to have, like, a comparison, you know? Sure. Okay, I think right. We should, we well, should still. When you are ready, um, I am. I am just like, I'm good to go. You're raring to go, are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm so, so ready. All right, let me just check my guys. So, all right, manual priorities. Who can actually hold a gun? Um, where is shooting? It doesn't actually show, does it? Huh? Uh, shooting? Um, click on someone and character. zero. So yeah, that's that's Not the one. Not at all. Two and zero. Right. Well, that's good. Well, looks like looks like you're getting the pistol, and you're getting the rifle. Uh, all right. Fine. I've unpaused, but okay. we'll, we'll sync I, ourselves up. I too have unpaused uh, before too long. So oh. yeah. Are we going to set up in the same place? Like, even if we do, it'll be different, right? Yeah. It'll be different. We'll, we'll do them in a different way. So, yeah, it could be like a par It's like a parallel universe. Exactly. With our alternate dimensions. One of us is the good dimension. The other is the bad dimension. Yeah. Um, oh, where's my dog? Oh, there. There's my dog. So, um, my dog. Can I not, can I not re rename my dog? I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, so oh. we're going to start by placing maybe I can't. A, a growing zone right out front. But Kazar's really that dog. Uh, okay. Where am I going to 
plant some strawberries. Always plant strawberries first. Yeah. It's just a thing. It's just a thing I like to do. Um, so let's get these guys doing this. I haven't got really anyone who can mine, which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, that's a bit of a pain. That's one of the problems of... Um you're going to be the... You're going to work on growing stuff. So you're going to have to do that. So he's growing stuff. That's fine. We're going to want to... Oh, God. We want to deconstruct this here. We want to cut down these trees. Why are these, these guys not doing anything? Oh, are they just like... Do they not have work assigned? Plant cut. Oh, here you go. Let's make them all... Okay. And build. What's build? Oh, construct. I didn't have anyone with any relevant construction. <laughs> That's okay. Most of my party is garbage, as uh, they call it in France. Oh, dear. So um, Dr. Jolly is going to have to do pretty much everything on his own. Wow, I don't have anyone who can construct. I've got two chefs and no construction <laughs> objects. That's um, okay. Oh. Right, so well, it's, what, t what date is it for you? It is the 11th of April. May. Okay, cool. So we're on the same day, at least. Uh, right, we are going to... I think we're going to move into this area. We're going to start off... Now, I don't really know um, how, how this works, I must admit. How RimWorld works. Yeah, like how big of rooms can you have for people and how, 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 much, do they, how much do they get salty about it and stuff? So know? bigger rooms are generally better rooms. They make people happier. Earlier on, like, you don't need to worry too much about people's happiness. Everyone's fairly chill. Um, but as time goes by, they expect stuff. What is wrong with this person? Cry sleep sickness. Oh, no, I've got a, an asthmatic in my group. Oh no. And. Oh no. They are. Having an asthma attack. They're already absorbing my, my meds. <laughs> oh yeah, you've got to ban access to the meds. Might, I might have. have to ban access for them. Um, this guy's doing. Uh, so, yeah, don't worry too much about happiness. Just make sure they've got some beds. Build like a little hovel. Bam. It turns out go. that, like, actually building stuff is going to take me forever. Um, due to the fact that everyone is terrible at just, it. Just the worst. Well, that's okay. But I guess that's okay. He's planting strawberries, which is fine. Oh, God. I guess it doesn't matter what the quality of the wooden walls and stuff are, though, right? No, don't worry about... Um... The quality is not going to make a difference. Uh, the quality of the bed probably makes a little bit of a difference. Yeah, like, right now, don't worry about it. Unless you've got a good crafter, they're all going to be pretty shit. How do I rotate? The, oh, Q and E. I remember. I remember. Um, I, I don't have a good crafter. Well, I, I do have a good crafter, but I don't think that matters for the beds, does it? Uh, any furniture really helps. Um, yeah, but that, yeah, but that gets constructed. It doesn't get crafted, does it? Uh, stone cutting, smelting, oh, cutting stone, yeah. smelting. Yeah, it's not actually building. Oh, no, you're right. Building is... Installing stuff, doing a doing a shoddy job of it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna just set some stuff to get building. I think we'll put a plant pot in here. We'll put a little plant pot. Put a couple of plant pots just in here at the head of everyone. Everyone gets a plant pot. Wow. I know. Oh man. I'm just that kind of guy. Hello. Uh, that is that is uh, nice very generous. Torch lamp here. And a torch lamp here. And we'll put. Also a little chair. A little chair for people to sit on. Here. And a nice little chair here. We're decorating. Wow, well, already decorating. We're decorating, yeah. We're decorating. What Come on. What the hell? Tom. You gotta you gotta get you gotta make a house a home. Gotta make a house a home. Um I man, I'm not not near. Right. Near doing that. All of my guys are currently living in a cave that's covered in vomit. Oh, you're living in a cave? Yeah, just short term, they're in a cave. Oh, have you put them in the cave? Yeah, the little cave right next to it. You're a genius, um, Tom. Just so they can actually get all their crops planted, 
send someone out hunting on the first day, just get a bit of meat and meat and stuff. Okay. What time is it on your um, thing? It is thirteen hours. Okay. So we're actually yeah we're actually right about the same going about. I'm a little bit faster than you, so I'll just pause it for a second until you yeah, get to okay. fifteen. I'm at fifteen hours. Um, but I think I'm, I think I should be able to get these walls done before bedtime, hopefully. If you can... Okay, I'm at 15 hours as well. If you guys can actually do this, that would be great. Uh, we're going to just not, not disassemble this. Oh, I, I, just, oh, I, love, I love remote so much. It's, it's good, a isn't game. it? It's good. So my dog needs a name. Uh, his name was Troy, but I will change him to... How do I do Wait, How are you changing its name? I don't think you can change the dog's name. Oh. I thought you could, but that might be a mod. Yeah, you're right. It looks like you should be able to. Well, I can't. Seven years old, Troy. Troy. What, what a great name for a doggy. Troy. Doge. Um, Is that okay, but well, it's coming up to night time. What are these girls doing here? Oh, they're cutting down these trees. Okay. Dr. Johnny is busy. Dr. Johnny. Do I want to get oh, killed? I can cut down these trees, guys, faster. We haven't got all day. We need to build these beds. We've used up all of our initial wood. This guy's got a pistol. Do you have no, no wood left? Um, just, uh, just go and chop some. Chop some wood. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, I'm wasting it a little bit on oh. plant pots and chairs and things. Oh, okay. It's a little bit frivolous, but you know what? It's fine. Treat yourself. Hey, why don't you treat yourself? Ah, oh. yeah. Oh, man. Oh, this is going great. Everyone's oh. working together. Dr. Johnny was Does rebuffed by Spunky. The uh, sex slave. Oh no, what happened? She's a slave girl and a sex slave. She, she's beautiful. She's also a cannibal. She, likes, she, uh, she was taught that eating human meat is wrong and horrible, but one time, long ago, she tried it. Oh. And she liked it. She liked it. Okay. Well, I think we're pretty much ready to start, start turning up the speed a little bit. Do you want to go on to two speed? Oh, okay, let's do it. All right. We can go on to two speed. Let's Bam. move this along. I'm on it. Okay, so, yep, my guys are just, you know, going to bed now, just about to head to bed. They've got enough things to keep them alive for a few, for a few, for a little while at least. Um, we're going to want to just check which one of you is best at fighting in melee. It's Dr. Johnny, I think. Dr. So Johnny. We're going to get you to pick up the knife. Um, pick up the knife, Dr. Johnny. And very soon, night will come, and my people will start sleeping in their little shack. See, I made it out of the initial wall. Yeah? That, oh. That little shell. See what I mean? Oh, man, I like that. That's nice. And then I'm going to add some more beds. Well, I might just cut it in half, I think. And then this is a, like a shared dormitory, so it's not great. but It's, it's a little bit nicer than... Um, my my vomit cave where the vom cave where everyone is currently living. I've got someone out hunting. Um, they've already started butchering animals and making some some simple simple meals. No way! You've already got a little sh cook cooking thing going. Squirrel meat for dinner. Oh my god! Well, that's that's terrific news. I'm very impressed by that. We're gonna put a little table down. around it so that's gonna be for tomorrow you guys are gonna enjoy that and uh, then we're gonna start planning out some walls I think so we're yeah. gonna want to make a little kitchen type arrangement oh, what's this more steel over here yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little kitchen we're gonna put solar panels in here Ooh. I think yeah Man, very fancy already. Ah. Solar panels in, in here. Ah. And then a kitchen kind of maybe like, maybe just in here, actually. Yeah. That'll okay. be okay, right? Um, I'm, I'm going to go up to three times speed for a little bit. Just to get okay. through this night as uh, nothing's really happening. Everyone's kind of sleepy. 
You got it. There's uh, there's no 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 real action, um, and I want them to wake up and get to work. All right. It's well, a harsh camp, but you got it. They gotta do it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put the kitchen, I think, up here, uh, like this. Um, we're gonna wanna dig. No, no. Delete the construct. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna just mine out this area. So why do you go for strawberries first? Because they're slightly higher requirement. You have to have someone who can grow five. Oh. To plant those. Mm. Um, and they're actually like slightly better because they don't. They're like they're good basically. Yeah. I, I seem to recall. From my playing of RimWorld ages ago, I recall that they are quite good. Quite effective. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah. Put... Yeah, they de they're definitely like worth worth a bit more, which is nice. Um, um, I can put some. I can't. I can't actually put auto doors in yet, can I? No. Oh man, auto doors. That's those are fancy doors. Fancy doors. You're a fancy man. Um, let's make sure I'm cutting down enough trees. Oh, ostrich on the menu tonight. Have you ever tried ostrich? See. I've already just accidentally let this whole day go by, and I haven't really done anything productive. I was very productive on my first day. Day two, not so good, not so much. Have you oversaturated them with jobs? Maybe. Is that, is that the problem? Yeah. Too many jobs. A little bit. I didn't really get. The, I wanted to get my cooking started, but don't worry, it's fine. So we're going to put solar generator down. I think like just like here, probably. Comps idle. Who's being idle? And Garbage we'll run cat. Some Maybe that's too far away. Never mind, they've already started on it. That's cool. We'll run a power conduit this way. And up here. And along okay. here. And then we'll use that. We're going to have an electric stove. Ooh. I know, fancy. And that is fancy already. What the hell? Uh, yep, yeah, you still can make an electric stove. That's nice. So we'll put an electric stove here, I think that back wall and then we'll put a butcher's table. Hello. Hello. Where do we want to put the butcher's table? I've just got mine sat outside at the moment. Just I think bleeding it needs to be all indoors. over the place. Yeah, it kind of um you kind of get like a minor debuff having it outside, but you know what? I don't mind. Wish I've got so much move there. Oh. And we'll get a stool for each of them. Where are we going to get a stool? Fuck it. I never normally get a stool. They have to stand up if they want to cook stuff. Oh shit. Garbage cat has food poisoning. Garbage cat has Garbage cat food poisoning. Is what, Ill. what are they eating? I think I had a terrible chef cook up some raccoon meat and. Uh, My guys are just going to keep eating the packaged survival meals until I can. I, I don't think I really have anyone who's able to hunt. Do you not have a, someone with a gun? Well, I've sort of, I kind of do, but I feel like. Oh. Have I got anyone who can tame animals? Let's have a look. You just need like animal animal handling skills. Uh, um. Six animals Sarah has. Four animals. Oh. Sarah, the sex slave, actually does love animals. Really? Oh. Maybe I could just bring the animals in and then slaughter them. That's kind of more efficient, isn't it? Lure them inside and... Um, no one can tame an ostrich. Apparently ostrich needs eight. What about squirrels? Nope. You didn't often see like super tame ostriches, do you? About wild boars. Nope. What about squirrels? Nope. Right, fine, just hunt some squirrels. Um, let's turn it down a little bit. So yeah, I'm on day, I'm on 13th of April, May. Me too. It's just dawn. So what I'm doing first is I'm setting up my fridge, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's an important. So this one. is going to be my fridge here, um, and that's going to be holding all of my food for where my strawberries grow. So, so when the strawberries grow, they'll be put in here, and then I'll get someone to cook them into simple meals. And hopefully, we can make mix them up with some meat, like strawberries and ostrich or whatever. Ooh. Strawberries and cream. Oh, that sounds strawberries. Strawberries sounds delicious. 
I don't really want to do too much more mining. I shouldn't have really done any mining because none of my guys can mine at all, capably. Um, or build. So I don't really want to do too much mining or building. I shouldn't really have wasted my time on that. But we're done now. We've started. I need a big storehouse. So I think I'll make my big storehouse probably here. And then like maybe, maybe here. And then I'll have like the dormitories down here eventually. And we'll make this like our hospital stroke prison. Or maybe we'll just use this as part. Maybe you'll use this as the storehouse in future. Yeah, maybe we'll just throw up some additional little barracks down here. But we don't have to do that yet. Although I do want to start moving stuff to stockpile, so. Oh, oh garbage cat thinks I should give my faction a name. What should my faction be called? It's going to be... Fail Brigade. Brig Brigass. Fail Town. Fail Brigass. And the town. Uh, do you know in Bristol there is a place called Failton? Failton. Failton. That's a sad name. It's, <laughs> I like it. Uh, a friend of mine lives in Failton. And we like to make fun of it. I think I should probably. Oh, it's Fail Land. Failand. Fail Land, that's right, yes. Shit, I just totally, totally got it wrong. Oh my god, turkey meat has rotted away. Shit, I'm not eating. Oh, fuck. An explosion in the town already. Yeesh. Get a roof up, boys. Alright. An explosion already? What do you mean? Oh, this, I built some batteries, but they haven't put a roof on it yet. Okay, this is... Okay, Fail Town is. Uh, this is some shoddy work, Tom. Is awful. So, what are we doing? It's a zone. And build roof area in here. Build them a roof worthy of Fail Town. Do I have the wood for it? I do have the wood for it. Build me a roof. Right. Okay, it's fine. They've got, they've got a roof up. Perfect. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm making my fridge now, so I can I can build the so I'm gonna I'm just gonna wall it up on all four sides because you get a penalty for having like hard rock wall and I don't really want people doing that. So a penalty for hard rock wall, what like an ugliness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a beauty overlay down here. So yeah, like you yeah. See that plain rock is like bad, but then again, having like lumps of marble lying on the floor is not exactly great either. Um, and then I'm just gonna set this zone to stockpile food. It's a bit of a small fridge at the moment, but I can always make it bigger later if I really want. And so this is going to store only food. All types of food. Raw food, meals, everything. It's going to keep it all all, re re all frozen. Nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to it some coolers to keep it cool. Uh, this is like a standard thing, isn't it, that you do. Cooler. Yes, put the cooler keep in. Keep it cool inside. Boop, boop. And that's going to hook up to our power, which hopefully is already working. We will need a battery, actually. I'd forgotten about that. Batteries. So, you've got batteries, I saw. Yes. Very smart of you. I'll put some batteries in here, I think. Um. All right. Okay, let's have everyone build all this crap then. Oh, so yeah, I've now got uh, a butcher table, so I can add it to butcher forever. I also ah. want to probably put frozen corpses of animals in here. Uh, to keep the animal corpses frozen. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, definitely keep corpses in there too. That's always good. All right, so this is all ticking along now. Dr. Johnny is idle. Why are you idle? So he hasn't got anything to do, apparently. Well, oh, in that Dr. case... Dr. Johnny, what are you doing? Oh, so I've got three colonists idle. Job. We'll hunt some rats and some squirrels. Yeah, you've got to be careful on what you hunt. Um, oh. I thought you had a knife, Dr. Johnny. What did you do with your knife? <laughs> have, you, have you lost your knife? Hello there, what is wrong with this character? Why does he keep... Is he just an idiot? Who? Dr. Johnny. He's got skills. Incapable of dumb labour and cleaning. So he yeah. can do... Uh, Maybe he needs a gun. He can do all of that stuff. If he doesn't have a weapon, then he won't go hunting. 
Oh, he killed something. Okay, so now he's going to put the dead squirrel in there. Oh, and he's chopping it up as well. Oh, he's doing it. Although he's going to end up killing it, all of our friends. Let's see. I think Spunky is the one with the actual uh, knife, right? No. Um, this guy? Ah, this guy. Okay, drop the knife. So, um, Vect Conning donated. They want to be in the, in the team. People will join, so you can, you can join. You will be in the team. Um, will he actually... I see. So will he will not hunt people with a knife? Uh, you sometimes, can't send him out there with a knife. Sometimes people do, people. actually. This guy apparently won't. Um, Rub... Rubrickniff says, Benis, Smiley Face, Birdo Sparda, Ebin, D D D D D. I don't know if I understand, but thank you. Does that, is that like an in-joke? Are you and Ben in-joke? Benis... Spurdo, Sparda, Ebin. I don't know what that means. That is madness. <laughs> no, just gibberish to me. Uh, Floppy Doodle donated. Said, this is my first donation. Please put me in RimWorld. Floppy Doodle? Flop, Flumpy Doodle. That is the name of my faction. No, that's the name of my town. Um, Floppy Doodle. My faction is called... Uh, oh, Tom, all of your colonists... Oh, Flumpy Doodle. Flumpy Doodle. I thought you said Floppy Doodle. Flumpy. A uh, warrior... Orc, warrior orc. I still always read it as warrior orc. Warrior C27, yeah. He says, uh, all of your colonists are members of the Tom Cord. Please look after us this time instead of letting us die to wild animals like last time. Any chance of you playing more matches of madness? Oh, well, uh, yeah, we're gonna do, we want to do some. We really do. We, uh, do. we might be doing some maybe even this week. Let's scroll down. Uh, oh, good old sword oh. of the death. Here you go. Do you, do you want the thing? <laughs> no, I don't want to read that. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Hello! I'm fixing my hair too white, or it is going to be white for my Sephiroth cosplay on Friday. So on Friday, I will, I send, will send you a pic you of a, a pic little fat Sephiroth. Tom. Of a light fat Sephiroth Tom, <laughs> smiley face. I have Miss Light of Stream, but I will see it when I get home. Ben, thank you. Oh, it's always a pleasure, Zero. Thank you very much. What a legend. I can't wait. What a legend, huh? Um, K Kane JP. Hey, Oscars, can you hear me? Hey, Oscars, can you hear me? We can. Uh, and then they donated again and said, glad to see the sexy shirts are back in action, Thomas. Uh, they are. Um, I, don't, I don't ever really plan. Plan my outfits massively. It's kind of just um, it was it was clean. Actually, I, I had to go into my kitchen this morning naked because I had I didn't have any clean pants, Lewis, and they were all on my clothes horse, which were in my kitchen. And I also saw that I'd washed the shirt and I picked it up the same time as I picked up my pants. That is the story. What are you saying? That's why I'm wearing this shirt today. Simply because it was, it was there. There when I was collecting pants. I'm going to try and tame rats. Come tame, on. Tame Come rats. on, Sarah, you can tame a rat. She's using our, using our flipping meat to tame it. Yeah, she, they use food to... Um, oh, for God's sake. That's how you have to tame an animal. I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, fine. We're going to try and tame these ibexes. And we're going to try and hunt... Oh, there's not much to hunt, is there? What's this, a raccoon? Oh, God. We need to get these, we need to get these um, bloody strawberries grown. They're about... They're OK. So what, what day is it for you now? Um, the 15th of April May. Right, it's so the 14th for me, and Dr Johnny is <laughs> having a... It, it. Danger of having a break. Dr Johnny? Yeah. I've got a minor break wrist as well. And two idle colonists. God damn it. Thorbjorn and Warrior Orc. Uh, Warrior C27. Both of you need more jobs to do. But you are both awful. Just the worst. Uh, maybe, maybe go and hunt. I need to build some more flipping. Let's build some more rooms. Uh, because. What can we're you hunt? Pretty There's a pig. This. And another pig. Actually, fuck it. Just hunt everything. Just kill all of those guys and those. Ooh. How big should their rooms be? So, um, big. Big? Uh, I think the perfect size is a... Five by seven. 
Uh, something like that. No, I think it's like um, 27 squares. Wow. How about nine? Nine squares. Um, but they're getting nine. Nine squares. Um, I, I quite like the sort of five by five. Oh, refugee chased to Failton. A herbalist named Erin Blurdorian calls you. She's being chased by pirates from the victors. She begs and offers safety. Uh, begs for you to offer safety. Um, you know what? Sure. And I will... Oh. That's actually... 27. So what's that? Nine... How, how's the best way to do that? Nine Vect by three. Nine by three or is good. five by six. Because um, it means that... Because I think they actually want... Or maybe it's 21. I can't remember. It's something like that. I mean, that's huge, Tom. It How, is big. It's massive. Okay, right. I've offered safety to this person who is... Actually, they're not called Blur. They're Fecht Koning. Ah. Okay. Uh, Vecht Koning is currently Aha. a naked woman just running towards us who's good at growing. Oh, perfect. Oh, shit. There's a fucking dead raccoon. Oh, it's fresh. Vecht Koning. Pick up the raccoon on your way back. Nice. Oh. Right. Just hunt these bloody Ibexes. Oh, and the raid. <gasps> I've got a raid, Lewis. Oh, dear. Someone Tom, called you're going to die. Tiffy. It's a single person with a club. Um, garbage cat. Get out there. Shoot this, shoot this fool. Actually, no. Don't, don't get out there. Just stand, stand nearby. And... Stand around. Oh, and chat. Chat's going to back you up. Garbage cat and chat. Stand here. Oh. Gun this person down. Protect Vecht Koning oh. from Tiffy. <laughs> the story's just a mile a minute over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the river's actually fucking amazing. Because they have to walk like all around it. There's just a tiny little crossing. Okay, right, you guys are missing. Shoot better. Oh, two good hits. Are you under attack already? It's because we saved someone. You fool, you shouldn't do that. Oh no, it's fine. I, I like being okay. I, yeah, yeah. They've, it's only like a single. Oh, perfect. We've got a prisoner. Excellent. Okay, we need a super quick, super quick little, uh, little area. So we're going to let them do the classic strat of make them sleep in the battery house. <laughs> And capture. Oh. Oh man, they had some meds on them as well. Oh, it's it's great. So if we can um, get that person to join us, amazing. That means one more of you can come and join the team. And if they won't join us, we're gonna eat them, hundred <laughs> percent. All right. Well, I'm a big fan of the cannibal cannibal strategy. Oh, bugger. Uh, uh, oh. oh, Vector oh. Koning is sad because they're naked and everyone else has clothes. I'm sorry, Vector Koning. You turned up with no clothes. Oh, actually, we can strip this person, can't we? Actually, no. we'll, we'll, we'll sort that out later. <laughs> we'll sort that out. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Uh, we want that. And... Orders. Chop wood. Hello there, fella. Hello there, fella. Another one. So yeah, boom. Vecht Koenig, you're in the team. Congratulations. Uh, flumpy Doodle, you're not you're not a person, but you are Lewis's town. So that's, you know, maybe better, maybe worse. <laughs> I'm not sure. Lumpy um, Talkmatic says, can you name a machine after me, like a fridge or a wind turbine or something? Oh, I wonder. A fridge? What? I don't... I don't think I can. 
sadly. Strawberries, rice, potatoes, hot plant, and heel root. Okay, Hello, this is my plan. Fella. Sadly, cannot be a person, cannot be a machine. Um, if only. Oh, we need another bed now as well. Uh, not corpses. What's going on? Oh, it's summertime. Summertime. First of Jugust. Jugust? First of Jugust. 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 Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. This is this is all pretty good. Uh, Talkmatic. We'll find a way to get you in. Don't worry. Kane JP, donating a third time to ask if you guys like the new Hey Yogg's Cast song that came out two years ago. What? Oh, the, the, she did a... Um, old Monica did a version, didn't she? Did of they? It. Yeah. Uh, it was great. It was, one, it was, it was cool. I, like, I love it when people do songs about yeah. like, stuff like that. It was by the same artist. So yeah, yes. By Monica. Lewis loved it. I'm a big fan. Vidask says, I want in. I killed more chumps in the final XCOM mission than any of the aliens. Let's see if I can do better here. If you find a rocket launcher, I want it. Oh shit, major break wrists. Oh fuck. I always forget this. I always forget to put joy, joy stuff down. Have you got any joy, Lewis? Uh, I, no, I haven't got any joy. I never have any joy. I'm useless with joy, I'm afraid. Um. Okay, no, this is going all right. I need another solar panel generator, I think. Yeah, are you doing for, for power? Oh, I don't have any s steel or components. No steel or components. These are two quite crucial things. Oh, no, I do. I just can't build them on that bit of tile. Oh, that's all. What's this? A rare thromboss. Oh, oh. What's this guy? There's a guy. A ball inventor, female space refugee. Hello. Where's she come from? Oh, is she just visiting? Yeah, but she's like wounded, injured. She needs she needs help. I could probably club her to death. Yeah. Yeah. Who who's got a club? Um, and capture her. Why? Why? Oh, is she just like oh, a trader? Oh, escape pod. You've set an escape pod. If someone's a you can rescue them or capture them for recruitment or slavery purposes. All oh, right, yeah, she, she crashed and then over here, I guess, and then has limped her way across. Okay. All right. Do I have a prison bed I could use? I haven't actually got a prison bed. If I quickly make a door... You can just um, place, like, a bed tile down. Oh, you, just, um, you could assign one of the existing beds to be a prison bed. Oh, I know. I can make my kitchen a Temporary prison. Yeah. <laughs> Although if um, people are constantly going in and out of there, sometimes the prisoner just makes a fucking run for it. Yeah, but she's like a 60-year-old woman. Look, she's in a disastrous state. Oh. Oh, right, who's no. My, who's going to arrest her? I need someone... To, is social, social... Social? No, arresting is kind of like a fighting thing. Generally, they'll instantly fight back against you. Let's so try. Having someone that's good in like hand to hand is, is generally like preferable. Okay. Ooh. I'm trying to arrest her. And also, where's the guy with the knife? Who's got the knife? Where is where's my other? Oh shit. Oh, she's up here. And Dr. Johnny's up here. She's is Sarah got the knife. Oh god oh, oh what am I pistol? Fucking things. Build copy. Why is no one holding the oh the knife's on the floor over here? Right, Spunk, can you pick it up? No, you're incapable of violence. All right, you've got to go pick up the knife in case we don't manage to arrest her. She's fighting back. Hey, Spunky, run for it. <laughs> run for it, Spunks. Run oh, for God. it, Spunky. Oh, God. Wested, what are you doing? Can't, can't punch her. You okay, Spunky? Spunky? She's got going a crack on. On her right clavicle. Oh, no. Yeesh. Right, go and get some rest. Wested's going to come. Wested's going to come and stab her. Crazy old woman. Yeah, yeah, you go. You're out. Okay, we're gonna capture you. All right, West got punched by her a little bit, but he's okay. Everyone's all right. Oh, Spunky is getting it, getting it on. Maybe, maybe not. 
All right, put her in the kitchen. She's in oh, the kitchen. No. Are you, are you, oh, in the prison cell, not in like a cooking, cooking style. Are these not growing? What? They look like they're growing. Oh, they are seventy-one percent grown. Okay, my strawberries are growing. Oh, someone's got severe illness. Oh, it's it's the person who I arrested. What's wrong with her? Oh yeah, she's got extreme blood loss. Death oh. in six hours. Oh. Okay, can I can I fix this? Who's my best doctor? West it is. Right, you are gonna get up and you're gonna tend to her. Alright? Do it. Go get her. See if you can get get her stem her blood loss before she dies. Is she okay? Let's have a look. He's patched up her not so bad and he's fed her. She is not going to die anymore. Okay, that's good. She's just lost a lot. She's 60, but her bio chronological year is ages 2,000. Oh, shit. 220 years old. Oh, so she's been in, been in transit for a while then. Uh, can we name her? I guess not. No, not yet. <coughs> so she is still considered guilty. However, we're going to try and recruit her. We're going to chat and recruit. We're going to use our social... Uh, sex slave to chat her up. Mm. Uh, Warden? Yeah. Yeah, actually all of our guys are fairly social. We'll use Spunky though. We'll keep Dr. Johnny on cooking. Alright, so there's a lot to do. A lot of things to bake. A lot of beds to build. But we've got some new bedrooms here. So oh, very nice. We're going to assign somebody. Who's the, who's the most unhappy? Uh, Dr. Johnny. So, Dr. Johnny, this is going to be your bed now. Dr. Johnny. Okay, you got a bed. You're right. And uh, got a little bit of a short circuit, oh. but that's okay. Oh, shit. Mad animal. Got some cargo pods nearby full of camel hair. So pointless. Summer has begun. There we are. Right, well, things are happening. It's the 2nd of Jugust. We've rescued a woman. Ball, her name is currently. Weird name. Oh shit. The I've got a mad rabbit. A mad rabbit. Oh, oh, it bit Ginge. Ginge, what happened? On your right shoulder. Oh shit. But war Warrior, Warrior C27 is in there. He shanked the rabbit. Oh, he killed the rabbit. Now I think one of our guys is an ascetic. Cut his front legs off. Very nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's Sarah. She's an aesthetic. So she wants a shitty room. So oh. we'll give her a shitty room. And then we'll give this other guy. Uh, once it's built, this can be the room for... Okay. So everyone's now got their own rooms. They're all pretty shit. But, you know, what can we do? Uh, we're going to put some floors in. Just because we might as well assign that as a job for the next 20 years to put floors in. So should we uh, take a break? We'll make this the being, being shouted at. Are we? I've In turned the sound off. Oh, I turned are the you? sound off some time ago. Oh, so you can't hear. I was, I was waiting for you to kind of like... Um... No, I turned the sound off because Steve, oh, Steve wasn't shit. fixing the donation right. sound. So I was okay. like, I'm not listening anymore. Oh, it's time for us to take a little <laughs> break, guys. If um, uh, there's some ads or subscribe and you don't see ads. We'll, yes. be, we'll be back super soon for more rimming. Oh my God. It's, Frantic rimming. It's taking ages, Tom. Oh my God. Who's winning? That's what I want to know. You decide. I'll be right back. Uh. <laughs>
back, everyone. Hello. Still playing RimWorld. Still playing RimWorld. Uh, give us a quick recap of where you are, Tom. On okay. Your, on your setup. Um, right. So it started out, everyone lived in the cave. It looks like a sort of a drooping kidney or something. Yeah. Or, or an organ of some kind. Yeah, Maybe like yeah. A, a gallbladder. Or a bit like Ireland, actually. Right. Um, and so... No, not really, but yeah. We've, go got, we've got that. And um, we've got the fields. They're already harvesting um, rice. Rice is my preferred day one growing thing because it only takes three days to grow. Does it? And so we are growing that. And then we moved over here and we built a wall. And I've got a little battery cave for everyone to live and get batteries. And there's a fucking fly just like zooming around here. Okay. Uh, we've got some power stuff and uh, a little fridge. We've got some meals in there, which is nice. There's a rabbit waiting to be butchered. A whole load of rice. And I've got a new kitchen and a new dining room set up. A nice big dining table. It's an awful dining table. Oh, God. And I'm just starting to build some little little houses for people. Uh, so that's kind of kind of it. We've got a major break rest. Thorbjorn is... Um, what is wrong with you, Thorbjorn? Depressive, awful barracks. Disturbed sleep. Someone insulted you. Ugly environment. You're hot and feeling bad. And you ate without a table. I don't know why you're eating without a table, seeing as we have two tables that you could eat at. Um, so, get, get your shit together, Thorbjorn. You're, you're, not, you're not playing playing well. And, oh, and we've got Tiffany. Oh, no, Tiffy, who is our prisoner. And I think we're going to try and recruit and see if we can get you on there. Yeah. Uh, Vechtkoning has gone on food poisoning. We've got a terrible chef who doesn't know how to cook. And it's causing significant problems. Yeah. I've got, I've got two chefs and nothing else. So over here in... Um, what the crap am I called again? What's my, what's my town called? Oh, uh, lump, lumpy. Uh, you can check. Spunky Town? Spunky Town. Uh, flumpy Doodle? Flumpy Doodle. With the Canaanites? That's me. Oh. Um, I've got Dr. Johnny, who's basically the core of the uh, core of the setup. He he's he's basically almost a, a break risk. He's jealous of Sarah's bedroom. This is Sarah's bedroom here. This one. Oh. And he's got this one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I haven't got the floors in yet. Oh, but floors, once the floors are, are big. He has to have the best bedroom, I think. Okay. Um, he also has tried to get on with Spunky twice. Oh. And she's rebuffed him twice. Um, so he is on a major break risk chance. Uh, he's in a little pain for some reason. Oh, no. Um, he's just in a bad way, really. And so poor old Dr. Johnny is probably going to end up dying or having a breakdown. Wested actually had a mental breakdown. Um, he has been starving to death, though, due to the fact that I haven't really had any food on the, on the going. Uh, but now he's found some food. Hopefully the starving issue will go away. Um, he's suffering from light malnutrition. Sarah is, uh, she's fine. She's, uh, she loves animals. She's been trying to, trying to convince these animals to join us for a long time. Like she's just trying to make friends with this rat. However, what's probably going to happen is she's terrible. And as a result, she will never make friends with any animals. <laughs> with the rat. And, uh, and we've still had, she's been trying to make friends with animals for the entire game so far. Um, but... She's totally used. We've got a prisoner who's called Ball, Ball. Uh, who is actually a fairly capable member of the team, but is also 60 years old. Had pretty major blood loss. Everyone keeps talking to her in the kitchen, trying to get her to be on our team, but she's not having it. Not, not going well. Maybe if I strip her clothes off, that'll Ooh. get her get on my side. Uh, just uh, that usually makes people pretty miserable, but you know what? Give it a go. Fine, we won't take her clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people get quite sad we've when they... We've got the field um, of strawberries. We've got a couple of other fields of things growing. Oh, shit. What's up, Tom? A prisoner's gone berserk. Uh-oh. Uh, warrior. Warrior, you've got to get over here. Oh, she's smashing the door as Thorbjorn's frantically repairing it from the outside. Just patching it up with more and more slats. Okay, you know what? Just go... go take, take Tiffy. Tiffy down. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's, what's Tiffy up to? She, you stabbed her in her, her 
torso and her right arm. She has a shattered rib to right foot stab. Oh, left ear cut off. <laughs> uh, left pinky cut off. Okay, right. She is she is down. Um, I'm pretty sure Tiffy is going to be dead soon. Uh, he's bleeding. Oh no, Tiffy. Well, that's what you get for trying to escape. Kind of bordered on yourself. Because <laughs> uh, you have to remember that Tiffy did come and attack me. I didn't instigate that fight. That was all, all Tiffy's fault. So I don't feel a huge amount of remorse, I've got to say. I get it. I get where you're coming from. Uh, oh, and we've got a horrible psychic drone. Every male colonist winces in pain. Perfect. Cargo pods. Okay. We need to sort out old uh, Dr. Johnny's problems. He has got some serious problems. <laughs> oh, Dr. Johnny. What problems does Dr. Johnny have? He's uncomfortable. Uncomfortable? Yep. He's been kind of uncomfortable recently. Uh, he's got an awful bedroom. He's feeling bad. He's in pain, he's hot, he's got surrounded by an ugly environment. He's jealous, still jealous of Sarah's bedroom, and he's been rebuffed by Spunky again. Oh. I think I might have to just move him to the... Just give him Sarah's bedroom. <laughs> and then put Sarah in the other one. Put Sarah oh. in his bedroom. Even Gosh. though she's an ascetic, so she wants a shit bedroom. Ooh. Who's this? Oh, we're getting raided. We're all getting raided? Yeah. He's had a mental break. Now he's jealous of this guy's bedroom. <laughs> fucking hell! Make your fucking mind up, Dr. Johnny! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um, where's this raid I mean, coming? Okay, he's now got this bedroom, which apparently... I don't... Uh, he's mad. He's insane. It's very hot outside, Tom. It's 37 degrees out there. 37 degrees? Yeah. That's hot. That's real hot. Shit, okay. I mean, it's 36 degrees indoors in a lot of my things. These guys are going to start overheating. If there's a heat oh. wave, then we're going to be in trouble. Okay, maybe we should get some coolers in here just to cool off some of these. Two quadrums. If it's this hot already. Um, okay, uh, that literally just reminds me something I always forget to do. Did you remember to set your fridge to actually be cold? Yes, <laughs> but... Not at the time. <laughs> I remembered afterwards. Oh shit! This guy is is actually causing us some grief. Fuck. Warrior. Oh shit! Warriors not helping. Oh shit! They incapacitated one of our people. Oh, they're kidnapping someone. Oh no! Vechtkoning is being kidnapped. Shit! Garbage <laughs> cat. Get out there. Oh shit, I've got like a little... You sound like you're having a really shitty time. It's just uh, just minor, minor issues. Um, but, one less mouth to feed. Oh shit. They're, they're trying to escape through the river. Oh, oh, we got a fucking bullet in them. Oh, Ball has joined the team. Oh shit, them in the torso. Oh, what great news. Okay, let's delete this bed. And we'll oh. set this bed as a... Not for prisoners. Ball, you're on the team. Congrats. You've been promoted to dude. Now what can you do? Why are you still bleeding to death? <laughs> Why are you still bloody bleeding to death? Ah, you can mine. Okay, you're Hello, now our fella. miner. Welcome to the team. Uh, and second place grower. Oh. Well, chat is throwing a party. Chat? Yes, chat is throwing a party. Oh. I have someone called chat. They're in the living room, trying to build a door. Uh, chat's close to Twitch having a metal break. Uh, yes, I have a someone to represent Twitch chat. Twitch chat is throwing a party. They're throwing a party for everyone. Ah, oh, the strawberries are coming in. The strawberry harvest! The strawberry harvest is coming in. Oh, happy days. We've got some straws here. 55, 70, loads of, loads of straws. This is great news. I'm going to just dig out this, just in case I want to extend the freezer in the future. Um, okay, so 
the freezer, I'm sure, is going to fill up with frozen food before long. Or maybe I'll get a second. Maybe I'll get a second. Can you just, like, expand? No. I, you know what? One, one, one cooking thing is fine. Yeah. That should be okay. Mm. Uh, I've got Ball. So Ball is um, Amanda Ball. She's a, she's a bit handy with the old crafting. Oh, that's good. It's always good to have like a crafty, crafty person. So we can actually consider doing some research and making something like brewing. Am I, <coughs> am I making, am I growing hops anywhere? Rice, potatoes, heel root, hops. Yeah, I am growing some hops, although I haven't <laughs> planted them. It's all right. There's lots to do. Oh, careful, don't, don't get yourself stuck in there. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Are people bricking themselves in. It, it does happen. It's been known to. It's been known to happen. Oh, this is good. This is going really well, Tom. Yeah. For me. It sounds sounds like you're you're doing doing great over there. See, I like a bit more chaos in my uh, my town. I like a bit of. Um, Excitement every day. I want it to be like you know one of those sort of like real uh, frontier boom towns. People right. come here for the fast women and fast liquor. I'm gonna make a twin for extra people. Oh shit! One of the the prisoners died, <laughs> and the other one is not long for this world. They are super infected. Oh shit. Oh, combat supply from Aran Compact. A caravan. Wow, this a combat supply. How crazy this is there. That's pretty good. Are you going to buy anything? I don't know. I wasn't planning on it. But I might do now. Hello. Hello. Uh, man, donations are coming in. Um, so, yeah. Okay, right. Where, where are we? Uh, Talkmatic, yeah. You can get a thing named when we get someone... Um, he wanted a fridge named after him. I'm not sure you can do that. Vidask uh, is the XCOM person that wants to come on in. Apparently they're a badass. Uh, Warrior C27. Well, I finished my Dreadnought for my custodes. I have 15 custodians left to paint. How are your war armies going? Warhammer. Hello. Lewis, if you're looking for help painting GW's YouTube page, Warhammer TV has some good painting guides. On oh, Necrons. really? Vid soon? There will be vid soon. Vid's not... We haven't recorded any, so... Um, it's... That's it's as soon as the fact that we haven't recorded any. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god! I just saw what Steve's done to us, and you're currently living in my chest, <laughs> just here. <laughs> so, hello. <laughs> Struck my beard, Lewis. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Uh, it's so good. Why is this so weird? It's it's kind of weird, but it's kind of mm, kind of nice. I didn't even know where I'd gone for a second. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, oh shit! Have you upset Steve? Has he got rid of you? Um, so uh, Kane JP donated and said, "This is Lou. the guy who I named my tribe after." You should do a video with Monica. She does YouTube too. Really? Would love to see you guys in the same video. Is Monica the song person? Monica Prunier. Monica Lewinsky. Oh no, much more reputable than that. I didn't um, know she did YouTube. Well, I, then again, like I guess everyone has a YouTube channel these days, don't they? Probably. Even Tom. Even even <laughs> I have one. <laughs> Check it out. That giganto. On YouTube. Piece of trash. <laughs> Angry Tom. A world of vibes donated. They said Tom, your shirt has to go. But you can stay. Oh, thank you very much. All right, who's my best social person? It's probably Spunky the sex slave. Spunky the sex slave. Right, Spunky, you're gonna go and talk to these 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 guys. Out Spunky's here. a good name for a sex slave. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Uh, how do I tr talk to the? Where's the leader? Where's the? Le oh here. All right, go and trade with Pierce. He's a fat one. <laughs> All right. We're gonna. S oh, we can't sell anything. I suppose we could sell some of our medicine. I was hoping to sell some of the other crap in my. Um, that's filling up my. Generally, weapons storage. dudes don't want to buy a whole load of crap. They just sell power armor. Oh my god! Holy shit! Power armor's fucking amazing. 
How much does it cost, though? A helmet is uh, 1,600 gold. Ooh, that's not too bad. Oh, Garbage Cat has gotten sick from gut worms. Grats, Garbage Cat. It's not even, it's a human, isn't it? Yeah. Garbage Cat, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, what happened to my dog? I do have a dog. Oh, here it is. Kelly. Kelly the dog. Kelly's fine. Do we want to train Kelly? Let's do it. We're going to train Kelly. Um. Oh, be careful, Sarah. If you accidentally shoot bloody one of these visitors. These, my hunters are so bad. <laughs> yeah. They're just blindly firing. What are they, uh... Like a, a target right just in front randomly of them. into town. Look at this. <laughs> oh, he got one. Nice. This, this bunny is bleeding everywhere. Oh, careful! Oh, he actually shot Sarah by accident. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unfucking believable. What happened? Gunshot wound. Oh my god. Man, they've taken two two gunshot wounds. Dr. Johnny. You're going to have to fucking heal her now, you shot, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, you're not a doctor. Your name is Dr. Johnny and you can't do doc... What? <laughs> I love it. Only Wested can do that. Uh, where is he? Wested. Come and fix up Sarah. Okay, you're on it. I have to use one of my precious medikits for this. Oh, no. Not the medkits. Those things are rare. We can't afford to... Dr. Johnny. Fucking dangerous bastard. Boy. He's shooting a rifle, like, right next to this <laughs> gang of armed... The caravan. The caravan of, like, heavily armed dudes. My my people are seriously inept. If, if we get raided, we're going to fucking be dead, I think. I better, I better build, like... Oh, God, we don't even have any... You can't build turrets. You don't start with turrets. No, you have to research that. What? Oh dear, that's not good. Well, I better build a wall then. Let's build an outer wall. Like this. How much meds have I got? Oh, I've got loads of... Oh, oh it's perfect. Ah. Everything's fine. Um, it's time to get some... Shit, here we go. Let's get some lights. It's all a bit dingy. Oh, my God. Okay, we've now got six beds. Oh, right. Today, we move out of the cave, Lewis. Uh-huh. Everyone now has a real bedroom. And, you know, we can even get them some little wooden plant pots, too, in their bedrooms. Uh, someone has a horrible bedroom. I did not realise when I was building it, but 90% of it is mud that you can't build on. And so, that's like the sexy mud room. Major break risk. Vechtkoning is pretty sad. Uh, because they... Um, I don't know. Are not, not happy. That's logic. That's maths. Uh -huh. right there. That's maths. You're a genius, Tom. I know all about, all about maths. Where's this guy? Where's Spunky going? Spunky? Spunky? Spunky! Oh, she's going to pick up all this camel hair. Toddy! Um, Quinn says, Hey, two handsome men. How are you both today? I'd love to be in RimWorld. Love you both. I hope you have a great week. Shins 95. P.S. Tom looks hot as always. Oh, God. You too, Lewis, <laughs> winky face. <laughs> Jesus. Um, how's, how are you doing today, buddy? Oh, I'm feeling good. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Everyone's all right, actually, just about. Everyone's ticking over. Um, I've got to build a lot of walls, but I don't really have a good construction engineer to do it. Oh. But I guess maybe old um, Bell can do it, because their, their construction is uh, three. Construction on these guys is just garbage. Don't waste your time. Well, at least my crops are growing and the strawberries are coming in. I'm making a couple of fine meals. 
So this is a fine meal made from squirrel meat, hare meat, and rat meat. Ooh. Now, I don't know why they don't use, like, berries mm. in there. Do you know what I mean? We've got a lot of berries, guys. Just saying, if you've got a chance. I think um, you basically just, for a fine meal, don't you just need, like, two components? Yes, yeah, I think it's three. Three components. Simple meal is two. Is a simple... No, a simple meal is one, isn't it? I think a fine meal is three components, but they have to be... Different. Two, two, two different ones, I think, maybe, yeah. That's it. You're right. And so they're probably just filling in with meat. Uh, okay, let's go and hunt, hunt some guys. This, like, this is actually running pretty smoothly, I've got to say. Like, it sounds like there have been a few minor disasters, but so far, it's all... all okay. Yeah? Yeah. Honestly, not massively worried. We've got beds and stuff set up for everyone. Some people are occasionally having minor break rests. We do have a dead body in our in our freezer right now. Uh, what do you want to fix that? Uh, what is it in Misk? Okay, where do we want the grave to be? Put the graves up north, so we don't have to walk past them. Something on grave digging duty, um, and hopefully we will make. Are we out of components? No, we've got loads of components. Um, okay, I think I'm doing all right here. I need I need to build a lot of walls though. So you guys better get on with that. A lot of walls, a lot of floors. We need to just tidy this place up, get it all set up, ready to go. But I want to extend my freezer out actually as well. But hello there, fella. Hello there, fella. What was my... Oh, oh, shit, I'm running out of metal. That's the problem, Lewis. That's the gosh darned problem. Sarah is, like, cleaning, mostly, it feels like. That's good. Like, dirty... Dirty house... Leads to dirty minds. That's a... What a phrase. Yeah, I, I think... Hope. I think is what... What they say. Um... But no, a bit of, bit of cleaning. That's all good. Bit of cleaning goes a long way. Man, they really need to find some metal. Pretty sharpish, actually. Just realised everything's halted. Ah, oh. there we go. All the metal. And can anyone? Who can do mining? Not that many people, but more people are going to be sent out to do mining. So I want to do. I do want to get a research table eventually, probably. A, you can put a caravan packing spot down. Maybe. Oh, see, that's how you can make a caravan um, and like load it up with stuff. Because uh, you can send out caravans into the world. Uh huh. It's kind of cool. Oh shit! Okay, we got a raid coming. Uh, it's just one guy though, unfortunately. Although he's coming right away. So what's he going to do? Is he going to raid across this river or not? Who have I got um, with guns? I don't know. So she's pretty useless. Wested, I think he's just going to shank him. I think if I get Dr. Johnny up straight away, see if I can land any hits on him on, as he comes in. Um, Spunky doesn't have a gun. Sarah's got the pistol. Right. You're getting up as well. And Wester's going to shank him. If he gets too close. If you can get any shots off on him, Johnny, surely that would be, be grateful. Shoot. Good shot. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck is he doing? He's attacking a... Is that my wild boar? Oh, that is your uh, wild boar. Oh my god. Sarah tamed a wild boar. <laughs> that guy's going to kill it. Get away from him. Oh my god. Dr. Jo Dr. Johnny. Oh, you got him. What a ninja. Right, we're going to put him in. We're going to make this a prisoner bed. All right, in you go. Starvation. We're following Collins to starving. Oh, a friendly AI from your past named Charlton Whitestone has sent you a message. He's revealed a starship. Oh, sure. Where is the starship? Wow. That's bullshit. So, you know, um, you, you kind of... Uh, uh, you can, like, get, like, travel to a starship yeah. to escape. Um, so, where's my base? 
uh, here. So this is where I live, Lewis. Yeah. So it, traveling even like that far takes a long fucking time. Um, going across like a continent is pretty hard. But Where's the starship? It is all the way up here. Oh, on the North Pole? In the North Pole. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be going to it. Uh, to be honest, everyone's probably going to be dead before we even consider making it to a starship. Well, we got a drifter. She's artistic, though. An artistic drifter. All right. Ooh. It's my favourite kind of drifter. Someone who kind of plays, uh, plays like hobo songs. Yep. Uh, right. We need a lot of wood. We need to build this, build this wall. Man, fortunately, it went really well. That, uh, that I thought that raid was going to be like multiple people attacking us. But oh, it's because it's random, isn't it? It's because we're on yeah. rough difficulty. It could have been, could have been anything. Yeah, could have but... been like 10 guys in power armor. Yeah, yeah. But luckily, it was actually pretty, pretty chill. That's pretty, um... pretty much a piece of cake. Yeah. Now we need to get this rice indoors. I suppose in two quadrums. One quadrum. No, it's not too bad, actually. Oh, there's an fine. eclipse. Have you got an eclipse on? No. A solar eclipse. What's this? Components. Uh, Need warm clothes. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, they, I do have a lightning storm. So we need to set our home area. Oh, shit. There's a big fire outside. It's going to consume the crops. Oh, jeez. What? Warrior C27. You're on it. Ah, oh, what a pro. Let's put out all the fires. Hello? Okay. If you're nice to people, do they... Do they... Are they more likely to become your become all right with you? Uh, what like prisoners? If they're happy, if the prisoners are happy. If you make like a yeah. really nice prison. Yeah, yeah. Um, it makes it way easier to right. um get them to I join. I didn't realise. I always just shove them in a cupboard. <laughs> no, no. If you give them like a really nice area, um, then they're actually like pretty, pretty chill. Um, let's get a research bench. Oh, a basic prosthetics workbench. Oh my god, I didn't know you could get that. Maybe that's because I've got the mod on. A basic prosthetics workbench. That sounds oh. insane. Sounds pretty good. Um, let's run this power copy down here. Oh my god, the traders are just in and out of all of our rooms. Alright, spunky. Let's trade with the Bulkers vendor. Okay, so we have the Bulkers vendor. We can actually sell some stuff to him. All the camel hair, goat hide hair, leather raccoon leather wrap, leather squirrel skin. Do we want to keep the camel hair? We'll keep camel the camel. Hair. We'll keep the camel hair. What are you doing with camel hair? Well, we might be able to make it into like hats or something. Make Shit, some I'll clothes. Let's get rid of it. Uh, he sells a bunch of crap. Uh, like some bowler hats, they're all useless. Uh, we can sell him some berries. Yeah, let's sell him like 300 berries. Ooh, that's a lot of berries. How do we sell berries? Not that many. I'll sell him 347 berries. That'll be okay. That'll get me a bunch of cash. And then I'll be able to buy stuff next time that I actually want. That's good. Uh, Neutramine. Starving. Where's garbage cat? Starving. We got food. Just eat the food. Want to buy anything? No, I'm good. Eat I'm just gonna food. sell you all of my oh. crap. All right, goodbye. That's given me a whole bunch of cash and it cleared out my um, stumping stockpile a little bit. 
Hong Kong's idol. Dr. Johnny. Oh, shit. Prison break. Oh, no. What? Oh, fuck. Okay. This person has been trouble for too long. Oh. Garbage cat put a bullet in their chest. Put a second bullet in the chest. Oh, wait. Torso, left kidney. They're unconscious. You, you know what? Just, just fucking kill him. This person has been too much grief for too long. And we're gonna go and bury them. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Come on, guys. Bring all, bring all the food into the fridge. Like, why are they, why are they just like leaving it out there in the sun? It's not the way. It's not. Not the one. We have break risks. All right. Oh shit. Okay, this is a bit more serious. We've got a three-man raiding team with guns this time. Oh. Uh. And I don't have anything prepared, unfortunately. Well, I had some. I've got three traps here, but I don't think they're going to go around that way. <laughs> no I think shit. They're going to run across this way. Oh fuck. Okay, well, this is fine. This is going to be the moment of truth, guys. We've got... What was that weapon? Oh, there was a little shank there, wasn't there? Okay, we'll, get, we'll pick up the shank. So they're not attacking yet. We're going to hang around for a bit. I don't really have time to build, finish off building a wall. Hmm. Shit, I should have thought about this. What am I going to do? Well, maybe it'll be okay. Let's see. Oh, because the, the, the traders are leaving. So maybe. maybe. Well, we'll find out what's going to go on. Just don't panic, everyone. I'm not going to tell everyone about it until... Don't panic, anyone. Until they're all here. Until the last them. possible second. Yeah. When the raiders actually turn up. The trade caravan is leaving. And the pirates beginning their assault. Okay, that's fine. Let's get everyone mobilized that can actually fight. I don't think Spunky can fight because she's Hello. like a sex slave. She doesn't know how to fight. Yeah, she's, she doesn't know how to fight. Um, all right, you guys come over here. So we're going to set up over here like this. So he's. I think they might be running past the pirates. I wonder if they're going to have to fight them. Um, I think the pirates will probably come and... Oh! Oh! Oh, oh this God. is amazing! <laughs> uh, shit, because if you can get them to kill some of those dudes, you can steal their gear. Yeah, that would be really good. Uh, They're just opening up on them, aren't they? Maybe I should run in and, like, use this advantage. Yeah. While they're oh, shooting. Oh, they turned to, they've turned to fight. Perfect. Oh, no, they haven't. Shit. I thought they had. It looks like they have, but they haven't. Oops. Come here. Oh, damn it. I didn't, didn't think about this. Are they going to chase them off the map? They've injured a lot of them, but not actually killed any. Oh, shit. Okay. Who's got the guns? He hasn't. All right. You need to you need to get into cover, so you go you go west did you go over here into the trees. Oh. oh shit. Oh shit. Do I wanna close them down? No, I'll let them oh, maybe maybe I have to run at them. Oh, it's too dangerous. I can't risk it. You run away. Run away. Draw their fire. Oh my god, they're shooting really hard. Dr. Johnny's just going to take a few pot shots. Oh, God, this is too dangerous. All right, come around here. We're going to wait for them to come around the corner, and we're going to stab them when they come around the corner. Get back. Run away. Oh. Oh. We're going to do an ambush. How's the... Oh, no. Not good. <laughs> Having um, just a dozen people... Punching someone is actually like pretty good because you can kind of stun lock them a bit. This guy's got a shotgun, I think. Though. Oh shit! Okay. I'm just gonna go straight for him there. Get in there. 
I'm going to shanking. Oh, God. Dr. Johnny, you need to shoot this guy. Oh, God. Move closer. Oh, God. You need to get closer. Shake him. Shake. Oh, he's dead. Okay, you need to shoot this guy. Oh, he's legging it. Oh, West is down. Shit. Okay, this guy's running. Hopefully, this guy's dead, though. Oh, God. Giggles. Oh, shit. Yeah. Kiss him. Where are you? What are you doing? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right, he's out. He's away. Forget it. Talk to Johnny, go back to work. Ball, you need to rescue this guy. Oh. Did you get him? Are they dead? So, just ignore that guy. What happened? Oh, there's another dead. There's another guy who needs rescuing here. A male guard. Uh, Alright, you go and rescue him. Hang on, let's just check. I need pri a prisoner barracks. Go use this one as a prisoner barracks. Okay. And we'll use. One of these, is one of these not taken? Who's injured? Wested is injured. We'll make Wested's bed. Oh God, this is stressing me out, Tom. Temporary you okay? A medical bed, yeah. It's always the tough tough stuff with Old Rim World, this. Yeah, it's always So a they bit. did actually shoot down one of these guys. Oh, what's wrong? Rescue okay. him. Coming back. There's a gun on a ship and a meal. And a dead guy. To bury him at some point. You need to stop eating, Sarah. We've got things to do. There's people to rescue. Oh, he's. Oh, he got up! He, he actually is okay! What? He was the. the he was the, the town guard. He's limping up. He's got. Oh, shit, one of his friends died as well. Oh. Don't worry, we'll bury him. Maybe we'll cook him up, actually, into a meal. Because one of our guys is a cannibal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Sarah, can you just bury this guy? Or, actually, no. Shall we butcher him? Um, can we butcher corpses? I think we can, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to tell it specifically that it's allowed to... Um, but it's allowed to do that. Like. Num, 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 num. All right. Yeah, so I mean, I can have some human meat in. No, they won't eat it, like, on purpose, right? Mm. Oh, no, but they don't like it. Some people don't like it, do they? Maybe if I get Sarah to do it in the night when no one's watching. Yeah. Um, so what you can do, if you want to be advanced mode, is mean? you could make a separate dinner. kitchen. If you click on the restrict tab... Oh, and stop people going to the restricted So kitchen. you can make, manage an area, add an area which only she is allowed to go in, which has a storage just for human flesh and human flesh meals, a little kitchen, and she just goes into the back room, butchers some corpses, cooks cannibal? them up, and then no, comes she's out. She's the cannibal. Oh. <laughs> Who's the cannibal? Is it Spunky? Oh, it is. It's Spunky. Now, does Spunky know how to cook? I, th I think she doesn't... Oh no, she can haul. Okay, Spunky can haul and cook. She's fine. Okay, she can have her... This will be Spunky's area. Right, so we want to restrict the area. Area one. How do I do that? Oh, is it like... Is it in... Areas. How do I do it, Tom? Do you know? Uh, so you want to do restrict, manage areas... Then do like a new area, um, and then you have to go to architect zone an area, and then it is in there. It's fine. No one else is going to go. Expand an allowed area. Then you choose that one, and then you set the area. Boom. Okay. All right. Okay, I get it. All right. What I'll do is mm, we'll expand the home area to here. The thing is, the home area automatically covers everything you build, right? So, so home area is, um, 
Yeah, that's what, where they'll put out fires and that's where they'll clean as well. So you don't want your home area to be too big, but in turn, when fires start, you don't want them to get too big before they reach you kind of thing. Right, I get it. So I want to have this like secret area of perverted, perverted wants. Yeah, right. and I put the corpses in there. Um, okay, hang on, let's, let's forbid access to this guy. He spoils in two, I've got two days and two bodies to eat. Right, and I need to get him cooked up in two days flat. So let's prepare the cannibal, the cannibal kitchen. Uh, we're going to want, first of all, a dumping stockpile zone. Actually, we want, a, st we want, a, we want a, a meat freezer. A meat freezer? Yeah, we want a meat freezer. Let's just get this pickaxe through to here. And then we'll just... Oh, my <laughs> God. Holy shit. That's the meat freezer noise. <laughs> the noise. We want to send... We, want, we, send pa oh no, we can just cook them up on a basic stove. She can just use a crap... Crap stuff. Oh no, but the freeze is going to need power. Don't worry, I'll use, we'll use a, um, a fuel stove. This will be where she cooks up the bodies. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll structure it over a little bit just so it's like pleasant. Yeah, and then we'll put the freezer uh, part. On this uh, Warrior side. C27 doing it and said, What do you have in your armies? What's in your army, Lewis? Your Warhammer army. Uh, 20 Necron warriors. Um, 20. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the meat like warm. I'm not going to like keep it that Ooh. cold. Risky. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I have 20 Necron warriors, ten, uh, 5 immortals currently. I want to have 10 though. A Cryptek, an Overlord, a Stalker, a Monolith, a Ghost Dark, a Doomsday <laughs> Arc, and I want to get a Tesseract Arc, and then I will have, I've got t f 10 Lich Guard uh, and Orican at the moment, but I haven't built any of this stuff. Oh, someone's sick. Ball is sick. Oh, shit. Mm. No one healed Ball? Um, what are you guys like? Tom, would Probs recommend taking 20 Gene Stealers? Also, when questioning loyalty is great, man, it is good. Yeah, I do want to have gene stealers. Um, well, they're actually, I'm like, I'm almost half on the fence of switching over to doing just more, just more tanks. I just want as many tanks as I can get. Uh, let's take Cryptex to revive your warriors easily. Also, Katana, good. Yeah, I love, I love the old Katan. Katan are cool. Settlers of Katan. Oh, what a bunch of guys. Um, Kov Lackey donated. Wouldn't it be a shame if something were to happen to your stream bandwidth? Hashtag net neutrality. Oh, yeah. Net neutrality is today, isn't it? What do you mean net neutrality is today? They're p p passing, passing the bill or not passing the bill today. Why is she using herbal medicine on this character? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, just get on with it. Just, man, these guys... I've, unfortunately, I was not very, paying very much attention to my guys after that fight, and they were all bleeding to death in their beds. There's a mad animal on the loose. Oh shit. It's a squirrel. Don't worry about it. We'll just pay attention to that. While these guys heal up. <coughs> uh, Kane JP said, Am I in Rimworld yet, by the way? Uh, man, you are close to being in Rimworld. Um, I've not had anyone else join. I want six people. How many have you got? Five. Five. When someone else joins. Uh, How do you rename them once you have them? Uh, if you click that on them. That turns me on. Right. Um, and then click character. And then there's a little weird symbol. Ah, I can rename. Who's it? Kane. Oh, no, Kane JP is in. Oh, yeah, he's, okay. he's my the Canaanites. Oh, okay. Um, so Vidask. Then. Oh, Vidask. He is in. So okay. Kane, you're in the Canaanites. Yeah, that's what. That's why you um, named that. Also, on a side note, I'm friends with Monica. If you want to get in contact with her. Oh. Bam. Well, I have I have her email. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know. Oh, Kane JP donated and said, do I have to wait until Friday to join the Chaluminati crew? I don't know. It, uh, if Akawise is here, he'll sort it out. If he's not here, come back Friday. Uh, oh, my God. He's, he's like the real... It's a mad squirrel. It says it will kill anyone. And there's this prisoner just walking slowly in restraints. Oh, watch escaping. out. Escaping. 
I think he busted his way out while I was too busy healing my guys. Oh shit, there's pirates here. Pirates, Lewis. What do they have? Oh, we could buy someone. Oh, but we can't buy them. Spunky can't fight. Um, Johnny's what pretty hurt. Have? Wested might have to get up and deal with this squirrel situation. Oh, I'm gonna sell my dog to the pirates. <laughs> See you later, dog. That's 40 bucks Ronnie's right there. Ronnie's escaping as well, bloody hell. Spunky, can you go and rescue Ronnie? Uh, Kazar said, thank you for the lovely meat pie, my lord. Oh, but I don't geez. understand. Where did we get the meat for this? We ran out of meat weeks ago, and the hunters haven't left the compound. Also, how are the prisoners doing? Oh god, that prisoner's escaping. How, uh, kill them, turn them into meat pies. I can't. Oh, I'll just let it go. <laughs> There's a squirrel biting Spunky now. Years of being Get locked in the me. cupboard. Get off me. <laughs> they oh. finally broke out. Jesus Christ. The squirrel is smashing it at the door. Oh, it's going for my pig. Fight back, pig. Oh my god, Four. this is actually fine. Colin Spider. Okay, Good. Steven. Good work, pig. All right. You guys all right? That'll do, pig. Wait, is it your pig? He's patched is up. Is it called Babe? Do you have Babe the, babe the piggy? His right thumb was destroyed in oh, that God. fight. Yeesh. That was a bit of a mess, that fight, actually. Did we actually get any guns off him? We did. They just sat there. Just sat there doing fuck all. There's a couple of guns lying around. I need to pick up these guns, really, and sword over there. All right, make sure we get these in the morning, guys. What's your feeling about? Where is the morning? That's one in the afternoon. Oh. Okay, boom. We're doing research now. Chat's researching for us. They're researching automated gun turrets. Good job, chat. You're the best. How's my pig doing? It's okay. Yeah, my pig will be fine. Man, I can't believe I got a pig. That's so cool. Yeah, you captured it. You tamed it. He's your pig friend. How's this Johnny doing? Oh, he's not good. I think it's better. Jesus Christ. Fire! Oh, shit! Colin's these treatment. What the hell? Oh, shit. Chat is no longer doing stuff. Um... We need work. Who can do research? See the chat, he's fucking amazing at researching. Okay, chat, you're no longer a hunter. You've gotta go and do research for me. So I need those guns. I need those nice automated gun turrets because like, we haven't been attacked that much. Man, we need to like rile some people up, kill some dudes and uh, see what happens. Actually, shit, how do you get geothermal power? Oh. oh shit, that's not right, it's wasted. Blimey, this is tough, this. You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Just about. Oh. She's not very good at this game, <laughs> it turns out. Sounds like you're doing all right over there. Oh, my guys are super weak, though. That's okay. My whole team is basically being carried by like two people. Everyone else is just so bad. Whoever wants to be an awful person, you are an awful person. Um, just the skills are just the worst. Who's the who's the worst one? Thorbjorn is absolute just trash. Oh shit! What happened? What's wrong? Oh, Chat and Thorbjorn have started fighting. <laughs> They've had a fallout. Chat started a social fight with Thorbjorn. Reason? Insulted. God, what the hell? Uh. Shit. Oh. Oh, okay. They stopped fighting. But they did just beat the shit out of each other. Um. They're right. 
clavicles, cracks, they've got loads of bruises. Consume human corpse. Let's just give her the raw human corpse. Just let them, let them eat it. Yeah, just numb, numb on it. There you go. What? She's now taking it to butcher. Is that okay? I suppose if no one else is looking, we'll just not, we'll just pass it by. Right, she's chopped him up and she's put his human meat in there. Is that a problem? She feels <laughs> bad. Oh no, she likes it. She's raw cannibalism. She likes it. Okay. But she did eat a corpse. Maybe, oh, I see. She Maybe she wanted to cook it yeah. first. Well. Um, so, uh, Dank Man. Never happy, are you? Bloody hell. Prime Counselor of the Aran, Aran Compact has sent us a message. Dank Man. Dank Man. He's someone in the game, apparently. Uh, where well, there's some stuff. Oh, Dr. Johnny got infected. Well, tell us the location in exchange for money. What was this? Dank... Dank Who? man. What are you talking about? Is I that, got a message in the game. in game? In game. What the fuck? Postpone it. Spunky, uh, can you go and eat this corpse, please? A raid? Relationship? A group of pirates from the victors have arrived nearby. They all wait while an attack. Prepare. They are a group who have a relationship with your colonists or prisoners. Oh, one of them, yeah. What oh. the scavenger Bucky is the husband. Oh, their husband is Thorbjorn. Thorbjorn, your wife is here. Where? Oh God, who are these guys? Oh my God, fuck me! They've got LMGs, submachine guns, and knives. Well, it sounds like you're dead. Uh. Okay, right. We can no, we can we can do this. We can do this, but it is probably going to be. Good night. Uh, so, Thorbjorn. Good night, ladies. Hopefully, if we just send Thorbjorn out, they will just go for him. Uh, right, you come here. Garbage cat. Who else can do stuff? Okay, you're okay. Right. Okay. Where is everyone? There's lots of lots to do. Lots to build. Oh. Ah, friendly AI. Yeah. Charlton Charlton Wetstrands. They've told you about the thing. Oh, oh Spunky, don't eat raw meat. Oh, you're allowed to. <laughs> Shit, super beavers of Spunky, come. stop cooking. can deal with super beavers in a minute as well. Uh, okay, the pirates are going to attack us. This could be GJ, everyone. Um, oh. This could be the end for you, couldn't it? Yeah. Oh, two of them. Two of them are down. They're fleeing. Oh, perfect. How did you kill them? <laughs> um, I've got a little little gun complex thing. You got a gun complex thing. Well, it's like a really garbage um, machine gun that you can use to. Uh... Is there uh, any you have to man steel? It. Do you know where the steel is? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! It's the same map, you see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, man. That's two prisoners as well. Two fucking knives. Okay. Um. Uh. If you go. Um, here was where I got my first big stash. So just there, that's like the closest right, one. Right, okay, that's where I'll go then. That's where I saw. Um, so, yeah. Or to the right of that, there's like an even bigger blob. Um, but it's further away. Okay, you got it. Okay. Um, I can't, I don't know if we actually killed Thorbjorn's wife or not. Maybe. Thorbjorn. You might be a widower now. <laughs> uh, but. Well, actually, no, they're not, definitely not dead because the two people I shot um, are just unconscious and in prison. And. 
They had it coming. Let's see if we can get these to join us. Character, no. Prisoner. Chat and recruit. And you. Prisoner. Chat and recruit. Um... Oh my god, I can make Spunky and Dr. Johnny sleep in the same bed. Oh, what you can force them to. Yeah. Get into bed. Oh, there you go, Dr. Johnny. Oh god, he's gonna, Spunky's gonna hate that. Oh, 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 we have captured Thorbjorn's wife. She had to rebuff Dr. Johnny. Why? It's because they're in bed together. They're Was now... he getting a bit handsy? He's now jealous of Sarah's bedroom. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He is, he is the worst. I'm giving him, like, a bed with the, with the sex slave in it. And he's like, <sighs> nope. What's the quality like of it. the bed? Well, I keep having to move him around. Bloody. Put him in. Put him in, like, a different bed every night. Exotic goods trader. Very nice. Oh, there's a dead rat in there. He killed a rat. Man, hunting. My guys are so bad at hunting. It's not even funny. <laughs> it's just so inept at it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, so I'm building spike traps here. So my plan is the deadfall trap plan. So basically what happens is they come down... They, they, they come, they can't get in because there's walls all around. So it's like a tower defense, basically. That's the plan. Right. Now I'm getting a lot of old berry, old, old potato, old rice in. People eating, people have done with the straws, now they're eating rice. Oh shit, what the fuck? Mad animals. Ooh. Right. Oh, a whole load of mad squirrels turned up. Oh my god. So the way I, the reason I checkerboard them like this is because people can move in and out of them just fine. Oh, if your you, people. If you, yeah, if you, if you just have them in one long mass, it's a disaster. Okay, that makes sense. That's pretty good. All right, we've sealed this way. <laughs> so they're going to have to come around here, hopefully through this way into this area if they want to if they want to yeah hello there fella it's good i think it, i think it's going well actually i'm i'm fairly confident am i going to last what year is it for you uh hello 4th there, of september <laughs> oh you're slightly ahead of me then okay you've been on fast speed longer i've been stopping to ah. derp around a bit so you maybe are just having more trouble because you're slightly ahead of the game than i am I think also I'm a lot more reckless and But you, make have, terrible you have people decisions. who can actually fight. My people are absolutely awful at it. Just causing causing trouble. Man, like I honestly feel like this this little town, it could go all the way. Uh, we don't really have a proper researcher, but that's okay. But we've got a big load of food. They need to just harvest it. Is this other stuff gonna get done? Thirty percent grown. Yeesh. Severe illness. Oh, Thorbjorn's wife is. Uh, she's not healthy. She has gunshot wounds to the chest, a shattered rib, her left leg and foot. Oh, oh man, we might need to do an operation. Let's do it. Let's amputate that leg. Bam! We're chopping the foot off. Oh. I don't know who is our doctor. Oh, it's chat. Chat's gone in. Chop. Did they do it? Character. Needs Can you make health. the basic amputation thing, table, or not? Or is that a thing because I've got the mod on? Um, basic prosthetics workbench. Oh. Oh, I don't, don't know if I actually have that production. No, I don't no. think you do. That'd be helpful. Oh. Oh. So, uh, yeah, 
tried to cut Thorbjorn's wife's foot off, did a really bad job, it got massively infected, then chat went outside to play a nice little round of um, fucking horseshoes, and then she, uh, she died of the infection. Rip. Uh, what do I want to do? Brewing. Let's research brewing. Uh, Flumpy Doodle donated, said, I donated earlier, but I had to go. So don't know if you saw, but please shove me in Wimp Rimworld. Yeah, your Here's town. My, money. Is, my uh, town is called. Cool. Lewis's town is named after you. Flumpy it's Doodle. called Flumpy Doodle. The happy little town of Flumpy Doodle. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you for your, thank um, you for your support, my friend. Uh, Where's my sexy... Warrior C27 says, well, Tom and Lewis, it's been fun. Thanks for not killing me. Um, sent uh, uh, 738, so if I died, for fuck's sake, Tom. Uh, if you're looking for some good 40k books, the Beast of Rises series, or the Horus Heresy books series, 45 so far. I've read like one or two of those books. Um, they're, pretty, they're pretty good. Oh my god, I get two turtles. We're doing it. We're buying some turtles. Got to babysit the little shits next door. Good luck. Oh my god, I can get a, ste a, a mega screen television. Mega screen television? How much is that, though? 2009. That's too expensive. Yeesh. I can get a Doomsday rocket launcher. 2007. Oh, the Doomsday rocket launcher is amazing. What does it do? Um, I can get a stomach. Oh my god, maybe I should have chopped up my guys and sold their bits. A psychic shock lance. Psychic Soothe Pulse. Oh, that's terrible. All right, I, do you know what? I'm done. I'm just getting the turtles. Okay, we're going to set the turtles up in a turtle house. The turtles? Did you buy some turtles? Yeah, I think I brought two. I think I brought a man and a woman tortoise. Oh, are you going to breed them? Well, that's the idea. And have baby turtlets. <laughs> yeah, I assume that's how it works, right? Yeah, no, you can literally do that. Um, it's a lot of fun. We're going to make a little turtle shed here for my turtles. How, just run a turtle sanctuary. Yeah. I'm going to need some turtle beds. Uh, what can I make them out of? Nothing, I guess. Human leather. Mm, that sounds bad. Uh, no, that's, it's actually like fine. Fine to do. And human leather's worth like a pretty good amount. And no really? one really minds. I think I might... I'm going to keep my boar around because she's pretty good. I'm going to head out and see if I can hunt some another boar for her. That's a female. Have I already got a female? <laughs> Thorbjorn says, Tom, you killed yeah. my lovely wife. I'll never forgive you for this. Th you had left her, and she came to get you back. You joined us willingly. So I, I don't know how lovely she was. And it wasn't me. Chat killed your wife. So blame chat. They cut her foot off and botched it. Not my fault. I was probably asleep. Okay. Definitely not to blame. Where's my guns? Where are all my where are all the extra guns that I saw? I thought I had some. Wait, do they do they decay? Oh, no, they're still there. They they're still guns do decay. Um, Actually, it it's not even very good. But then again, it's better than what I'm using, I think. And it's definitely worth bringing them indoors. Yeah. Because uh, they're worth just like so much more. Let's go and. Oh. I need, I need, oh, I, need, I know what I need. I need some gun cabinets. Yeah? Yeah. Just to show off your guns. Some gun shelves. Mad animal. What the fuck? That's another rabbit. What is, there's something in the water that's sending these rabbits mad. Yeah? Get out there, Ginge. Go and beat this rabbit to death. Man on rabbit combat. Oh, you crushed its jaw and destroyed its tail. <laughs> And bruised its neck. And what happened to you, Ginge? What have you got? You've got a bruise and a bite. It bit you on your finger. <laughs> oh, it's not even dead. It's just in shock. Health. It will be dead soon from you crushing its jaw, destroying its tail, and destroying its front leg. I like the, um, the details about, like, you know, animals' health and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, or people's health, because it's like it just tells like a whole story about it. Oh, the psychic soothe is ending. The psychic soothe was so good. All right, let's cook up some extra food. I'm gonna make sure we got 20 fine meals and 15 simple meals. 
stuff that Johnny's got a lot of cooking to do. Oh, obtained a tortoise and named him Tortoise 3. Let's make uh, some animal beds. Well, we can't really make animal beds, I guess, but we can make some animal beds quite close to 45 cloth. Yeah, I don't really have anything that's good that much. Hello. Make some animal sleeping boxes, though. Let's put those Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, you need to do that. Give them some like little sleeping boxes, and um, they'll be good. Uh, Kane JP donated again and said, "I gotta go. Thanks for being all. Thanks for the awesome stream, guys. See you too in Tom's shirt on Friday. Uh, you're nicely here on Friday, are you? I'm not gonna be. No, actually. Lewis is off, uh, go off partying to, uh, away. Oh my God, fuck! There was just a big explosion. What the hell? Not cool, bro. Um, so you, are you are you approaching winter, autumn, or something? What's what's the deal? It is." September. Yeah, it's getting close to winter. I reckon I've got one more, ooh, maybe one more crop yield. And then we'll see. Um, so, because things were going so well, I was quite frivolous and I set up sun lamps outside so my crops will grow through the night. Um, but something's gone wrong and I lost all my power. Uh, oh, because I had a short circuit. Ugh. Build this wooden wall, okay. Deconstruct all the rest of that. And then I'll extend this. It's really annoying sometimes stockpile zones don't quite work. There we go. Okay. There we go. Got a bigger bigger refrigerator now. Alright, so I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. I've got Nice lot of bedrooms here. There's a few of them got random rocks in, which I need to get hauled out of here. Since they're blocking up my town a little bit, but people will do that in their own time. Maybe I shouldn't get anyone on research. Let's just let's just stop the research for now. We don't really need it. We've got more important things to be doing than making beer right now. People are pretty happy. Do need to get some warm clothes at some point so we will need a furniture uh, thingy uh, no. what was that noise? visitors who are these oh, not visitors? Visitors. hand like an electric tailoring bench uh, so we're, as we're coming close to the end of the stream I yeah. have a fun little well we'll probably carry this on next time I think Oh. Uh, so don't destroy. Oh shit! Your okay, place. maybe that, maybe that makes sense. What are you gonna do? Well, because there is this down here. Oh yeah. Which is probably a telltale sign of a terrible tomb. But if you can raid it successfully, that might actually yeah, set you up pretty good. I think it's probably gonna be an insta death. Maybe with, if like automated turrets, if you could build like a wall of automated turrets. Yeah, and, I've done um, a few sort of things like that with and it before. And kill them all off. Yeah, I think I think we'll probably. I know we're coming towards the end of the stream, but I think we'll um, we'll probably come back to this next next week. Yeah, because we're doing it again next week. I think aren't it's we? going pretty well. Ben's still in um, Mallorca. I think it's pretty good anyway. Maybe no one else does. No, I'm I'm enjoying it, man. I can I could endlessly play RimWorld. I've lost so many hours to. Uh, to this game, my 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 settlement is actually not terrible. Like, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Um, I've got a bit of defence now, so as long as what's going to happen eventually is they're going to build guys who can blow up walls, and they're just going to come straight through here. But until that happens, I can kind of make them go through these steel deadfall traps. Oh my god, a mysterious blight has ravaged our crops. That's not. No idea. Oh, the blight. I had one of those. A group of hungry beavers is starting to eat all of the mats. Oh, shit. Oh, I mat. had that too, and I haven't stopped it. Where are the beavers? They're just eating all the trees down here. Yeah, is... you need to go and hunt the um, the alpha beavers. That might not be... Well, I don't know if Sarah's going to be able to do it on her own. Oh, no, they're going for it. She's running. <laughs> She's okay. running. She's out of That's there. That's bad. 
Uh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to bring it back. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, I'm gonna have to just run her back to into the base, and hopefully the beavers will die. Oh no, she's gonna die. She went the wrong way. Shit. Oh, oh no. Sarah. <laughs> Beavers. <laughs> oh, it's all gone horribly wrong. Check her health. What have they done to her? Oh no. Come on, mystery rescue. It's a heat wave. Someone's gonna have to go out there and rescue Ooh. her. Spunky. These are dark days. You're up. <laughs> out you go. Oh, that's not good. That's not what I wanted to see at all. Damn it. She was barely ahead of them. Oh, every colonist of the female gender smiles with contentment. Mmm. The psychic drone. Yeah, but it was a nice version. Yeah, yeah. You either get, like, the horrible ones or the really good ones. She was carrying but... some berries with her. All right, Spunky, see if you can get back in time. Oh, God, Dr. Johnny, what's wrong with you? Oh, shit, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, oh, God. Because I pressed hunt on them. Oh, shit. Dr. Johnny's going to get... Well, maybe we're not going to come back to this next time. <laughs> yeah, if you'll, if everyone's going to get mauled. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. So, people, do you think uh, everyone's going to die to the Alpha Beavers? I kind of, I think they're going to get you. I've got to go and rescue two people now. Spunky's carrying back one of my guys. <laughs> West is heading out to get the other one. But now I have to, I have to go around this stupid wall I built. Oh. It's like, it's like so far away. Oh my, oh my god, no. No! <laughs> you keep sending them out. The Alpha Beavers are still like on the rampage. You might just be better like turning and fighting. Like oh, you're not going to be able to escape. He can't fight them. <laughs> he just needs to get a little <laughs> slip. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh no! Are they coming to get me now? Is that where they're going? Oh yeah, they're going to attack Spunky. Okay, that's fine. So they're going to come in. I didn't realize they were... I see, because I thought they were just... After they went crazy... Okay, they're going to get caught on these spikes now. You ready? Oh, my God. <laughs> he, just dodged, he just dodged all the spikes. <laughs> the uh, zigzag. They just... <laughs> <laughs> they just knew how to do it. Fuck. Okay, Fedask's gonna defend in this little corridor here. Okay. What the fuck are they doing now? They've just gone to sleep outside. <laughs> They're just spooking you. Are they calm down now? Spunky? Maybe it's time to just go and uh, boys? go and rescue your colonists. <laughs> fuck. Oh no, here you go. Fedask's got to fight this one. Oh, okay. Man on beaver combat. Got three cuts. Oh. He's had a few bites, though. Does Vidask have a knife? Is this the alpha? Yeah, he's got a knife. Oh, he's, he's fucking like shiv. shiving them. Perfect. A shoddy steel. Sh he loses. He lost. <laughs> he lost to the beaver. This is how bad my guys are for <laughs> combat. Where's he going now? Is he going for Spunky he's, again? Yeah. Spunky can't fight. She's a she's a pacifist. She's oh, the only one I've got up. Oh no. <laughs> On, see if you can carry old. Um... Oh no, Dr. Johnny's back up. Oh. Where is he? Is he did he recover from. <laughs> oh no, he fell over again. <laughs> he walked like 10 yards. Uh, maybe what, what you might need to do would be a little, um, a little quick load of the autosave. What? Because I fucked up on the old auto Alpha Beaver thing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, it just auto saved as well. Does the last person. Uh, which was the last auto save? This one probably. Uh, so, like, they just keep keep chain chain going. Oh god, um, that was a. that was. Wow. I don't normally like to auto save load on Rimworld, but I made a few mistakes there. I thought I thought pressing hunt on the old Alpha Beavers was a good, good idea, and it turns out it was not a good idea. Do not um, do that. Them all raging at once. But my, the, my turtles are going fine. They're going to breed, I'm sure. Tortoise one. Tortoise three? Oh. Well, that's annoying me. I've got three tortoises now. Two men and a lady. Oh. I must have managed to tame one. Who's this dead guy? What? 
Why is there a dead gardener just here? What happened to him? I don't know. Did he come down from a... Oh, he must have come... Oh, well, we're burying him. Spunky's just like, well... Hang on a sec. Can I, can I chop him up? Yeah, I can, I can eat him. Give him a little nibble. <laughs> eat him at the table. Sure, do that. Nom, nom, nom. Don't mind me. Spunky. Go on. On with oh. you. Okay, getting uh, well... Getting buried. It is, um, it's time, it's time to wrap it up. What a game! What a rim world! Oh, man, that was some good rimming. What a rim world, everyone. Great rim job, buddy. Where are you going, Spunky? What are you going to do now? You're going all the way around here to pick up a plasteel knife. Oh, that's pretty worthwhile doing, actually. Go do that. Cool. You look after yourself, girl. I'm going to make a little hole in this wall. You go, girl. That way it'll be... I <laughs> like how Steve like changed it to blue. <laughs> Lewis is clearly still wanting to play. Uh, it's 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 time. Yeah, we're done. I'm being shouted at by Steve. Steve, he's furious. I can't even hear him because he turned your uh, your off off the grid right now. No, but I turned it back on. Oh, uh, he's he's not shouting. Oh, okay. you just said earlier. We're done, everyone. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next 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 Thank Wednesday. Thank you for joining us. More of this. I'm sorry, Ben isn't here. Uh, that's he will okay. be back soon. Uh, we'll see you yeah, next, good. next time. Goodbye, everyone. Mwah. Mwah.